Nice. 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 Very nice. Very nice, Disco Chan. <laughs> Although, well, that's the interesting first thing to see is Blackbeard upside down still. Yeah, he, he's been like that for a little bit. <laughs> Please put me down. No, it's funny this way. <laughs> One of these days he'll just be he'll just be like on the stream sideways instead. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. Oh, I forgot about that. Sorry, I'm I'm just looking at the list and oh, I I was mistaken on something. Uh, another bit of the story should be unlocking uh, later uh, tonight anyway. So we're gonna be get, we're gonna experience uh, experiencing a new bit of the story blind. So that'll be fun. Yay! Blind story! Blind story! Actually, did you hear about that RPG that was actually made for blind people? I've... No, actually. <laughs> Hang on. Yeah, somebody made an RPG that you can that, that, that can be played by blind people. Well, good for them. I don't remember what it was called, but it was like the whole selling point was that it was RPG designed specifically for people that had a black sight. It's called A Hero's Call. Yeah. <clears throat> I didn't see the whole thing of it, but I did like see like a few bits and pieces. Uh, like, well, did not, I couldn't see any of it, but uh, I, I watched someone else like that. Uh, play it a little bit. I think it was RT who played it at one point. Mm. Apparently, it's actually they created a whole studio called Out of Sight Games, which has the goal of developing games that can be played by both blind and sighted people. Oh, good for them! Fancy. I like that. Hmm. Maybe I should pin them. <laughs> maybe, I, maybe I should like get in contact. Maybe I should get in contact with them. I actually, actually kind of like that a lot. As someone Maybe. who has, as someone who has some side issues, I can get down. I can get behind that. <clears throat> I can get behind that definitely. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So that's what we're doing today. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so, as the name of the, of the, of the uh, stream suggests, we're gonna be messing around with summer five, but um. We're not going to be doing that in the, on the stream account just yet. We're waiting for a certain somebody to show up before we can really get into that. So, in the meantime, for the sake of not having to farm on on the uh, no on a relatively meh node with uh, only a few apples to work with, I'm going to do it on my main account instead, my personal account rather, for a little bit until things kind of, you know, until we get uh, everybody ready to hear, ready ready to go. So, yeah. Okay. Hey, hey, why I'm gonna post a message in pings that I, I'm looking at the list and comparing things here. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> Let me take a look at something. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Again, quantity and quantity is not a fact. It's not always the, uh, it's not always the breadwinner usually. Anyway, that that's fine. I'm just I'm just letting you know because I was comparing. So let's see, complete mission nine and then uh, twenty one. So I need to, I need to do that eventually. Oh, by the way, Mush, do you want to see what my last stream was dedicated towards? Hmm. You want to see? Oh yeah, no, no. I, I, I think I saw it. I saw like clips of it. Would you like to see what my last stream was dedicated towards? Look, look at this. Look at, look, look at. Uh, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Let's. You have it sorted by a level, so I don't know. It's gonna. Oh yeah, yeah there it is. Huh. <laughs> you need to get more servant coins. Working on it. 
This Oding? was like Oding? four, Oding? this was like an entire stream's worth of work. Even Oding? longer, Oding? actually, because I'm pretty sure that stream lasted for like six to seven Oding? hours. I'm pretty sure the first hour, or I think the first hour or two, they could just QB farming, and then this and the rest was just getting the embers just for, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Friend points. Yeah, I always make sure to do the first. Hi, Kentucky. Has it's been a while, hasn't it, buddy? Yeah, hi, Kentucky. You piece of shit. <laughs> By the way, like, can I just point out? It's like you have enough. Don't even have enough to do a friend point. Meanwhile, I'm sitting here with. 400 plus uh 490 rolls i could do on the friend point i think i was like bi i think it was like binging like friend point rolls to see if i can get like other copies of their stuff at the time hmm not a big deal that's fine uh yeah, not yet actually you know what i'm gonna oh yeah i do have to i have trial quest i gotta do on this one still uh, I'm I'm sorry. I see that tree. <coughs> yeah, yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> Believe me, I know. <laughs> Why? Why? I need get some seeds for like... this anyway. So of course I'm gonna get a servant out, out of the gate. Hey. Oh. Why couldn't you be Ushi? <laughs> Medusa's like, oh, probably. I appreciate you, Medusa, but still. Why, why though? <laughs> I want to say most of my resources for the second man pops up because I do want to get more. I want to get to Moe. That's my primary goal from this event, just to get to Moe. Of course, I wouldn't mind anything from this banner. I wouldn't mind anything from this banner either, honestly. I don't know if the uh, second banner has the CE. For the uh, event, for the, well, the same CE selection, I should say. Hello, Camlan. Camlan. Oh. 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 Wow. Hi, Brynhildr. <laughs> Hi, Brynhildr. I'll take it. That's a that's a berserker with invuln pierce on their on their seat and their uh, noble phantasm. I'll take it. I should do like uh, I do like Sarver Noble Peace Amount actually. What? It's like, well, alrighty then, Brynhild. Thank you for the uh somewhat ASMR there. <laughs> yeah, hi there. I'd like a CE, please. That's a serpent, no, think... isn't it? God dang it. Oh my god. Hi, Tal. I've been getting a lot of copies of Tell from these uh, banners as well, I've noticed. He seems to be pretty uh, common find around here these days. Which is weird. But um! Hello, um. Alright. That's not our servant, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yep. <laughs> God's sake! It's another Lancer, too. I was, say, I, was, I was gonna say, if it was Rome again. No, it's a coup. I think the next one's the two, is the two uh, for one. Nope, next one is after that. Yeah, sure. I just want the CEs. Not that CE! 
Hmm. I guess I can do the cast one real fast and get that ticket for the two for one. May as well. Oh yeah, I can also show off uh, Hans' animations now. This has got some new ones. Oh, this is more Mega Man music than uh, Mario. I'm pretty sure it's some Mega Man. No, no, no. This is this is Sonic track. This is a Sonic track, actually. No, it's Sonic. Chemical Plant. What am I thinking? Uh, I, I love Hans' third ascension with this animation update. If only because his, his skills, whenever he uses them, like he like you can hear like the iPhone, like the iPad tapping noise. <laughs> if you listen very closely, that's just him like tapping on the iPad. Whenever he like he does the animation for it. Great. Uh, let's see. Pop. There it is. Okay. That that makes weird sense. That makes weird sense. I I I'm I'm doing things here on the side. Don't mind me. And new time. Actually, this would be a good time for me to actually get to try get uh, to try and grind for Bond 10 Castanero as well. Actually, that'll be good. Actually, it'll also be a good time to, to grind for for Bond for Castoria too, because she's also got a bonus in this event as well. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. How many people do you think are, are gonna are gonna take the chance to get her to bond ten as soon as possible with this event? Very. There's a there's gonna be a lot of people. I'm surprised there are people that they'll, they'll just like show bond ten like Castor Oreos just out of this. Multiples. All right, let's get that two for one. See what happens. My money is on uh anything that's not on rate up right now. Okay, so far I'm one for two. Oh, is that another Mabu Tofu? That loaded really quickly. Oh, nope, no, no, Atlas. Atlas. Ah, Atlas Institute approves Mabu Tofu. Good to know. Good to know. All right. Do you want at least one copy of that CE though? I don't know if the other banner has. Actually, let me check. Oh, this is. This is filling me with a whole lot of despair. In what sense? Wait, wait. In, how, in what way? Yes. Could you be more specific, please? Yes. <laughs> it's it's relating to the thing I put in pings. Okay, so the other uh, the other uh, banner will have the other CEs I'm right up. So okay, I don't need to worry about that anymore. That's good to know. Did you, what did you put in? It, it's writing to the thing you already saw in pings. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, save the cottage. What's this? I gotta change the uh, thing for the. Uh, well, I haven't, I haven't rolled anything on the um for mm. the uh for the uh, stream account yet, so. I, have to change. I can't change it quite yet. Not quite yet. Just gonna change that while I'm at it too.
Uh, let's see. Ooh, somebody already, of course, somebody already has a little broken copy of this, the CE, with the Castoria on it, of course. Of course. It's a pretty good CE, honestly. And Von Pierce with special attack and anything with the bur with burns. Not bad. Not bad at all. Hey, Subarashi. Hello, Subarashi. Hello. Hello, comrade. Hello. Good day, comrade. Now what I gotta do is figure out what kind of... Okay, first of all, uh, if I have... Uh, yeah, no, not, not this. Um... Should I, uh... Are you roll? Um, rolling. Um, I already put some tickets on my on this account, or... Thank you, Windows. I was playing... Uh, we're playing on my personal account right now. Um, as far as rolling for... On the current banner, uh... You'll see. Anyway. <clears throat> what I need to write... What I need right now... Actually, let's get out of the way. I wonder. This thing's got out of the way. There you go. There you go. And who else can I put in here for uh, something on the cost? Yeah, you know what? Yeah, I'll put Gil in here too. Let's see about that as well. I tried rolling for anyway. I tried uh, getting, throwing some tickets on my on my personal account, trying to get some Cs for the event, and got and got a one copy of Brynhildr Hilder out of my, for my troubles. <laughs> Sure this is Nothing wrong with that, honestly. I do like Brynhild dirty somehow. She's pretty fun. Oh, yep. That's why I figured. What? What's wrong? I, I'm muttering to myself at this point. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I hear. I get that. But what? Are you, what is wrong? I, I, I had a hunch about something, and it was correct. <sighs> Two, three, four, five. I'm counting on the list again. No. Gosh, what are you doing? No, that 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 was a no of yes I am. Oh, for frick's sake. Uh, listen, okay. Shut up and look at Dante's. Dante's is cool, but you don't have him in a summer outfit. Zero out of ten. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> How dare you? I actually <laughs> like his coats. I like his coats. Cool coat guys too. don't look at the enemies as he dashes towards them and kills them all. His coat is cool, but he also has it in his summer outfit. I like how he doesn't look back. <laughs> Alright. I happen to like that. I, I have to double check this one. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure for me. Uh, gosh, he turned around. No. You see what happens is he's moving so fast it actually looks like he's moving forward, but in reality he's just wave dashing backwards towards the opponent. <laughs> he's playing a Castlevania. He's just he's just I dashing at everything you see. He's just back dashing everywhere he goes. You just you just can't see riders. it. I'm looking at riders like it's gonna do anything. There it is. Okay. Also, I I find it hilarious that you have yet to comment on on the Steam comp for Dante's. <laughs> I, at this point, White, when it comes to you and your farming teams, I expect two of the three of those. <laughs> hmm. It's like two of the three of those I see coming. Dante's is just nice to see. Kuhaha. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have enough charge for this, apparently. 
Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. Still works, still counts, three turns. Hey, Kuya. I, 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 I've been three turn farming with my usual team too, so I don't blame you. Waza. 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 Best scene from Scary Movie of all time. Yo! Yo, where's Red Hair? Yo, Red Hair! Red Hair! Aggressively, was <laughs> Okay, this this will not work. It, it, it's, it was a funny little, like, one-off, but that's not going to work for, like, actual farming for me. I about to say, when in doubt, Bazaka? Eh. Bazaka! Are you doing farming? No. Well, I could use um, Musashi for this instead. Or I just pull the Swiss Army and I could call it a day with the, with, with uh, Space Edge Tower. With the spinach? I could do that. I think I will do that because I'm already going to have to listen to Musashi do that in the other account. I don't want to have to listen. I'm not going to listen to that. Not me more than I already have. <laughs> oh, yeah. So sexy. My name is... What's that shit, Miyamoto? I love that ascension, but that voice line is 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 driving me crazy. I I just like the like like drop in voice of my name is. What's what's the new of it about? Uh, it's summer five event. Uh, so it's basically a summer camp more or less. Summer camp it with is... some horror elements essentially. Mhm. Mm So I'd rather do this more or less. Poor camp. Well, to be fair, this will be a good like place to start to use Musashi farming again because of her bond bonus. So there is that too. I just have to bite the bowl on that one. That's more, more dangerous. More, I mean, considering the first uh, couple of sections with the event, I, that's not too surprising. That's that's not a inaccurate comparison. Considering the uh, uh, the MC's reactions to uh, certain swimsuits, looks at Mash's new swimsuit. <laughs> <laughs> Think of the hydrate. Oh, hey, there you are, Skeletor. I, I, I think of the hydrate. There's Skeletor. He's probably dealing with kids. More than likely. Ash got a new swimsuit. Uh, Spiritron dress. Yeah. Which we'll show off. We'll probably be showing off later when we do more story stuff. But I have to say, uh, it's nice. It's a nice swimsuit. It's nice. Is nice. Just got an Ornax form. Yeah, that. Oh yeah, that, yeah. That's the thing that exists. That's a that's a version of Mash that exists. Uh, no a certain a little hard boss. A lot of people prefer old Mash, Koya. A lot of people prefer old Mash over the Ordnax. Ninety-nine percent of people after Lost Belt One prefer. To be fair, to be fair, to be fair, I like its design a lot more than the original. But in terms of skill set, regular all the way. OG Mash all the way, please. Oh yeah, also this event's mission based again because we needed more of those. The VR headset is pretty cool, but good god, why do, why do, why are the skills bad? <laughs> Speaking of VR, guess who else is going to be joining us in VR later 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 on with the second banner for this event? Looks at Tomoe. <laughs> oh, my shield's on Bustra. 
Why did she get a self buster up? I don't understand. You don't use Mad for the buster uh, buster cards. You use her for the defense. Ash just looks at the Ash. Uh, Ash looks at the Ash. like, yeah. It's like I said no unga punk. I mean, I would say that I probably they probably wouldn't do that, but to be fair, they did, they did give us a support Buster MP with Himiko later down the road, so there is so it's not un, uh, like a unheard of thing for them to do. Make Buster uh, Buster cards, a Buster support type MPs. Because yeah, there is a character we get later on this year that does have a Buster uh, MP that is as a support MP, like just entirely support based. And she is named Himiko. Himiko, Himiko, Himiko. Himiko, 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 Yeah, I'm I'm having people contribute uh, friend points uh, for the channel to start a real war for our first level 100 servant for the stream account, more or less. So whenever when that gets to 100, we're gonna try and start that up. Oh, here we go. We're gonna start a, a, a grail war with specifically uh, the stream account, and whoever wins that's gonna become our first level 100 servant. Sorry, just account. my name is. My name is. Hey, to be fair, to be fair. Oh not yeah, it was Shinichi. It was oh, Shinichi. Yeah, yeah, it is them. To be fair, there's been there, there's been a couple people who have done animations for. Well, we're gonna be doing it in a different format, which I still kind of need to look at more closely, which I'll probably be doing uh, tomorrow once I get home from work, or at least try to anyway. Kind of get more of a feel of like how it's going to work there. Yeah, I'm gonna be using a format. Uh, I believe it was called uh, bracket fights. That's what it was. We're gonna be using the bracket uh, bracket fights format to uh, decide who's going to get the uh, level 100. Okay. Yeah, man, I, I I got sucked into one of his videos. Dang it! <laughs> to be fair, I can't... Uh... I can't help watching the Moikai Tribute HD. It's so good. <laughs> don't worry about it, Kuya. D don't worry about it. <laughs> Kuya, just 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 wait wait until we get to the the, the stream account. You'll you'll understand. <laughs> I I think maybe possibly. Maybe not. <sighs> anyway. Mm, what to do, what to do, what to do. No. Okay. Right. You have a lot of rank ups I need to do. Oh shoot! Thanks for reminding me, White. <laughs> Did you forget Scroll to do what to do? No, scroll up. You made me realize if I, the Emmy one. I one. Yeah, I need to do he's... that immediately. I yeah, need I, to do I, that immediately. I gotta do that one as well, actually. I should probably do that. <laughs> I got a bunch of rank ups I gotta work on. I'm just gonna... Oh yeah, right. Ku's got his rank up now. Anyway. God damn it. God damn it. Now I have to do two of them. <laughs> Yogamesh also has one. Caster Gogamesh, I should say. Also, Musashi has one. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> hey, look at the bright side. You're going to get quartz out of it. Why are you complaining? Oh, I still have to do phantoms. Shit. 
uh, the new event banner. Uh, we're going, we have Summer Ilya, Summer uh, Brynhildr, and the five star Summer Kiara. Summer Ara Ara. Summer Ara Ara, yes, more or less. Yeah. All, all I have to say about Summer Kiara is. And Adasi. And Adasi. Also, the male banner is going to be uh, Sigurd, Emia, and Lundling. I have already been trying to get Sigurd. <laughs> yep. God, I don't even know what rank up to start with. <laughs> I'll probably do the Emmy one first, because I need to get that anyway. No, I'll, I'll, I'll work on it at the same time, too. Gosh, I have too many, cra I have too many craft instances. Damn it. I keep running into this problem of I have too many craft instances. Zagaris, the child. Don't worry about it, Kuya. Shh, you'll understand later. Trust me. There, there's only one thing worse than a ring. Don't worry about Ooh. it. Also, I'm pretty sure, from what I understand, I actually was uh, in one of Shark's uh, uh, streams a while back when he was doing some of the evil stuff. Apparently, he absolutely refuses to play Summer 5. Fair. That's Specifically fair. Specifically because Kiara's there. To be fair, I don't blame the guy. I don't blame him. I really don't. <sighs> also, I'm pretty sure he's gonna. I, from what I understand, he's also gonna be starting as the uh, as the Colonel's sweet playthrough at some point. Which, God, I good luck to that man for that, cause oh boy. I mean, I don't like Kiara either, but this event has too, ma too many good things that I enjoy in it, so I'm doing it. Yeah, Kiara's the uh, the nun, yes. Yes. You the correct. nun that is consistently horny on main. The nun that quite literally uses the world as her, as her toy. <laughs> and if you think I'm joking... Look at her uh, NP animation and, uh, and CCC. It's literally exactly what I said. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's literally exactly what I said. I wish I, I was knew, kidding. I knew there was a couple of five. Why do the five star ones lock when they're, when they're limit broken copies? <laughs> Is it just those two? Yes. Perfect. Not the chickens. Not the chickens. Anything but the chickens! Please, sir. Uh, I don't want to farm any more chickens. Too bad you're gonna have to deal. Mm. Have to deal with all the chickens. Ma'am, just because it's a holy place does not mean you can show. <laughs> Great. Uh, summer treat. Hey, hey, Jer. Hey, Ben. Hello, Jer. I was been treating me all, all right. It's very hot over here, though. Like, really freaking hot, scorching. Yeah. Yep. Oh yeah, why well, on an unrelated note, did you know that Miku finally became an anime character? Like an official like, like like Hatsune Miku? Yes. Huh. No. Why well, did not know that? It, it's in a show called Joshin Chan Dropkick X. It's in the first episode. There's this character that has to jump a fence to get I wish I was joking about this. The challenge is get a green onion or steal a green onion and give a hundred yen for it. What? <laughs> what? And the character who gets that challenge sees a, a green onion just over the fence that they're at. And it's Miku holding a green onion. <laughs> huh. 
Huh. And they actually got Miku to be to voice the character. She is actually in an anime now. It can happen. Huh. I'm surprised it took us this long for that to happen. There's been a, there's been a lot of um like Miku references, but not actual Miku. Again, I'm I'm genuinely surprised it took us this long for us to get here. For your perusal later, I put in pings. And I will politely remove the message I posted earlier. <sighs> Thank you. <clears throat> is screen is screen the same as spring? I don't I actually don't know. I I, I... It, it, it is the leak that she spins in the leak song. Yeah, I, w I wouldn't know, Kui. I don't know enough about onions. I'm not an onion expert. I can go talk to Onion and Son, see if he knows. Onion Son, you know about that? Oh, yeah. That's right. He doesn't remember his name can we, can we not? <laughs> for, for chat's perusal, that is the exact clip as well. This is Google Spring Onions and the Green Onions are the same, however leaks are different. Still a member of the Onion family. Huh. They're part of the family. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Papa Onion. I'm sorry, Father Onion. I didn't I didn't mean to I didn't I didn't know that was your territory, sir. I I didn't mean to I didn't mean to I didn't mean to start some of your territory. You come to me on the day of my daughter's wedding. You got made me laugh like I'm confused. This was a day where spring onions and green onions would finally live in harmony together as far as family and coexist in harmony. And you step on my turf and you make my daughter cry like an actual onion. And I'm going to have to cut you and chop you up like our, like like the like our brothers and sisters from the old days. Chop him. Don't ask me what I was what I was doing that. <laughs> Even I don't know. <laughs> I, I I legitimately don't know what I was what I was doing there. I think it was like a weird. A tribute to the Godfather as an onion. <laughs> yeah, that's what it was. That's how it was. I think about it. Yeah, it was. It was that. The Godfather onion. The God, the God onion. <laughs> onion mafioso. Actually, 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 we did play a game where there was actually turps that were part of the mafia. So they're kind of fits. <laughs> And for those that don't know what that game was called, it's literally called Turnip Boy Commits Tax Evasion. Have you ever heard of it? It's a great, it's a great little puzzle. It's a great little like, it is so game. good. It's, it's a very good game. It's a good time. That game was actually a lot of fun to mess around with. Apparently, got an update a while back that gave it like a little like uh, roguelike element sort of thing to work with. Hmm. All right. Let's see if I can have Ishtar teach Emiya how to use arts. Yeah, Turnip Boy commits tax evasion. That's literally the, that is literally the name of the game. And it is awesome. Also, the the uh, the ending credit song is oddly is weirdly wholesome.
All right, Ishtar, I need you to teach Emmy how to be arts. Show him how it's done. Show him how to not only do that, but change his card type while we're at it. Sorry, I, I, I'm watching um, this new video about uh, his roles for, I think, on the Summer 1 banner. Yeah, I, I didn't see oh. the video either. I, oh. I saw the video, but I didn't actually watch the video. I saw like the, the video pop up on my feed. I'm like, eh, I'll watch it later. Uh, do, do you want me to spoiler alert it? Eh. <laughs> he got rainbow spooked. <laughs> Was the caster again? Mm -hmm. uh, of course it was. You want to take a guess at which one? Anastasia, Tamamo. Second whatever. one. <laughs> he got spring bile spooked by Tamamo. Uh, How much quartz did you get before getting cast spend for Kiara or not Castoria? Castoria. Um, for me, for my, for this, it was like it was like a couple pulls for me, and I didn't even want her. And why did you roll? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I didn't even want the character. Then why did you roll for her? I don't know. Why not? Why? <laughs> I think I only did like. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, it was in the same role I ended up getting NP5 uh, Deer Mood. Uh, for my main account, I, I spent most of the quartz this account had at the time. And for the stream account, it took us like three ten pulls. I will say, I don't know what it is about freaking um, being at, at that right, convention. Mush, mush. Mm -hmm. I, I appreciate you talking about the convention, but I need to point this out. And I'm going to, I, I need to, uh, I need to point this out. This is a war crime. Why is this not called Trace On? Why is this called Circuit Connect? Why is this not called Trace Run! On? Why Run! is this not called Trace On? Why is this not called Trace On? Oh, why is it not called that? Either? Oh, okay. Oh. Okay. How, how do you screw that up? How? Well, <laughs> Trace got turned off. <laughs> Uh, I'm about to commit tax uh, crime against humanity. Why the hell did they change it to that? <laughs> Not Circuit Connect. This this is a crime against humanity and the crime against the entire F Joe community. How dare you do this, Lasagna? <laughs> How dare lasagna? you? Lasagna. Lasagna. Garfield. <laughs> I'm beginning to- I mean- <laughs> I'm beginning to hurt! It's hurricane time. It's hurricane- I'm beginning to- <laughs> I'm, I'm just reminded of that one clip from, uh, from, uh, Lythera's Lobby Shenanigans video where it's just him with Carl Weezer. Oh, uh, I'm about to- ah! Uh, yeah, I still have that account, yeah. I- I- I am still utterly disappointed about that account, though. Meanwhile, my JP account has MP4 Herc. I don't, I don't even try to roll for him. <laughs> you- you wanna hear what's awful? Main account. Herc is... MP4 as well. <laughs> you know what MP level it is on the Herc only account? One. One. <laughs> Is the loneliest number that you ever, ever do. do. Two can be as bad as one. All around me are familiar <laughs> <Your> faces. faces. <laughs> wait, wait, why does that work? Why does that work as a transition but with that one? 
I don't know. Two can be as bad as one. All around me are familiar faces. Worn out places. Anyways, what I was saying before, I don't know what it is about going to that particular convention and my luck, but every, like, two years now, I've got, I've rolled at that convention and gotten a five star and a four star in the same roll. Because what ended up happening, I rolled and got NP4 Ozzy and NP4 Herc in the same bit, in the same roll. Hi, Kenshin. Which, not gonna lie, I'm really hoping Ozzy becomes my next NP5 because, good god, I don't want to have to deal with uh, NP5 Ozzy. Or not Ozzy, NP5 uh, Odysseus. Yeah, Ozzy. Uh, rolls. uh, Castoria rolls went pretty well. Uh, went pretty well on the stream account. I got her to. Uh, we got her in three ten pulls. My main account, which is this one, took all freaking day. <laughs> Trace off circuit on. <laughs> Someone get a new circuit breaker out there. First bolty, nice. Been here lurking for that <laughs> to play. <laughs> Uh, right about cheating too. Nice. I wanted. I also threw a couple tickets at the uh, re and then at the in summer one ban at this new summer banner. Just to kind of see if I get some. Not cast Oreo with two rolls. Then I pulled double Brynhild Zerker in one. My cousin got me cast Oreo with two rolls, six sync quartz. I mean, Jesus Christ. Now, don't get me wrong. I love having Kessori on my main account. The problem is, realistically, I'm not going to use her as much because I already have three of the four at the, before she came. I already had three of the four big four in terms of casters. The only one I was missing was Merlin. And I'm still missing Merlin. I'm out of way of her. Yeah, your luck is so messed up from Ramos, I can feel it. Yeah, probably. <sighs> I do want to get Muramasa, though. I feel Muramasa like I'm trying nice to get, to get Muramasa at some point, whether it be on the personal or, or our stream, either or. You could have either way, because he's, he's, he's a powerhouse. With Castoria in tow, dude's gonna wreck, is gonna wreck everything I throw at him, more or less. I'm saving from here, from here out for Mamasa. I'm physically want no other servant. That's fair. I have a lot of servants on this uh, this year that I still want, like uh, Himiko and uh, Van Gogh. Those are my two main gets currently that I'm going to be waiting for, more or less, for my my personal least. Uh, next year, New Year's. Uh, Mamasa will be coming in New Year's next year. Oh yeah. The biggest crime. I I understand. I, I I know. I know he's a lot better as a uh, as an art servant. At least at least at the time frame. But the biggest crime is making is that they made Mermas an art servant, not a Buster servant. Because the fact that he that he's the servant that's the base art for Limit Zero, a Buster CE, <laughs> and he's an art servant is a weird, weird flex. That, that is weird. It was a meme. Yeah, New Year's is gonna slap everybody pretty hard because not only is that as Wilmer well, Mouse be coming back, but Saber Wars 2 will be back as well, so Space Intro is gonna come back that uh, immediately after he comes back, uh, he comes in. And then after that, the Tango event's gonna pop up, and Valentine's gonna pop up. Next year is gonna be like a is gonna be is gonna suck a bunch of people hard. 
right at the gate, and then the middle of the year is gonna be just nothing but like back to back to back to back to back gets <laughs> between Lost Belt Six and Summer, and of course New Year's. Oh yeah, Valentine's. I that I am actually kind of looking forward to Valentine's for for reasons. Valentine's for next year is going. I think the five star for that one's gonna be Karin. Karin, yes. AKA I, I, uh, AKA Tofu Man's daughter. <laughs> But, but, but what, here's the thing, though. You know what, know why I'm personally looking forward to Valentine's? Oh, actually, no, it happens after Valentine's because it's White Day. Dang it. Hmm. Uh, Slapstick Museum. <laughs> I am so looking forward to that event. <laughs> Funnily enough, uh, that event, I believe, started off during my birthday. The, um... Nice. The found that Valentine's event with where Karin popped up, and I did a birthday roll and got her in the first ten pull. <laughs> so it's actually like I actually do kind of want to use Karin more, but I haven't really had an excuse to use her more frequently in JP. Oh, also, advance, <laughs> advance, Shin Singumi, where are my pickles? Where are my pickles? Okita! They turned me into a pickle, Okita! <laughs> it was the funniest why, thing I've ever seen all day! Okita, <laughs> why are you like this? Well, class of the eight, ruler. She is a ruler. She's gonna yeah. be very fun. But yeah, no. I, I, I am... I am actually kind of hyped for Valentine's Day because <laughs> of slapstick and getting, um... Hold on. Uh, Amakusa's costume. Hold on, hold on. Okita, I'm beginning to zerk! <laughs> Please don't zerk. Tell me I can't take another broken wall. I take I any need more my wall. pickles. Oh, here, take a jar. Yay. <laughs> she, she, like, pulls out a hammer space, just a jar of pickles she keeps on her for emergencies like this. <laughs> it's like it's like Hichikata, eat a pickle. You're not you when you're hungry. Also, wait. Speaking of next year, are you excited for yet another Holy Grail front? <laughs> yeah. Don't you mean that's don't you mean like in a, in a month or two? Because Scott Fest hasn't happened yet, and that's when the first Grail front's gonna happen. Oh, I was looking at the Caesar one. Yeah, that's gonna pop up too, isn't it? Yeah, it's it's right after Little Big Tengu. Um, it's an event we'll be getting. We'll start. Well, it's it's an event we'll kind of start seeing uh uh pop up during the uh, Lotto event this year. Uh, it's like it's basically like a it's kind of like they, they basically they basically turned the whole challenge quest for the event into a board game esque kind of thing kind of thing. And it's a lot of fun. It's pretty fun to mess around with, yeah. That's a good time. It, it, it is a, an experience. Especially when you uh, organize a co-op stream of it with with a bunch of people. <laughs> Which you're probably going to do again, because it was a lot of fun. More than likely. Although, again, I have to wonder if they're going to keep the if they're going to actually keep the mechanic from the uh, recent one in the JP and transfer them over to the the older ones over here in NA. They might. I kind of hope they do because they'll actually give us more. I'll give people a lot more. Uh, you know, autonomy with, like, their characters. I just saw with Skahawk and Saber Nero. Can you mind? I have I have Nike do. Ah. Nice. I I will say my my GSSRs have been hit and miss. I, I, I'm actually annoyed with my GSSRs this year so far. Uh, it's kind of. I'm kind of in the same boat, honestly. Well, see, here's the thing, why I I rolled for uh, the Gajuna account. I got spooked by an SSR. I think. I'm pretty sure I got spooked by her. How do you get spooked in the GSSR? They're all in up. That doesn't. I, I... Okay, here's the thing, though. I rolled on. Hang on, I gotta remember which banner it was. I think it was year two? Hi, yeah, it was year... Hi, Kitoki. It was year two. I somehow ended up with Squirtle and Protor Arthur. 
And I'm pretty sure the Squirtle is my it was not my GSSR because Proto Arthur doesn't give rate ups unless they're we GSSRs. Have new Zerkers. Uh in this event, yes, there is one new Berserker and it's Brynhildr. Summer Brynhildr. It, 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 Summer Bryn. Yes. Okay. To clarify for everyone, Squirtle, I mean Archer Artoria. She has a water gun. She is Squirtle. And with that, mean Musashi can now hit Alter Egos just a little bit. Our Moon Cancer is a little and, and Alter Egos a little bit harder. Why? Yay! I don't know. <laughs> mm hmm. What about Kelly Boys that has radio for Proto Arthur? Fair, yes, but. I didn't think about that at the time. Not actually this round of Ke the upcoming Caldea Boys, yeah. which will be a uh, slapstick museum. The only boys that are going to get raid ups are um, Watanabe, Voyager, and Amakusa. Yeah, here's the new Berserker for the for this. Oh, event. there, there it is. I scroll down to mine. Hilder, uh, the Sprint Hilder. Uh, he actually isn't on this one. Hmm. Oh wait, she's the dude's wife. <laughs> yep. I hate Amakusa getting a Phantom Thief outfit. I think he pulls it off. Give me actual Arsene Lupin. I am the Pillager of Twilight, Arsene! Ah, uh, but see, here's the thing though, White. What about Lupin the Third? Hmm. What, what if we somehow in every, like, like, if we were to get a Lupin, what if they just modeled him after Lupin the Third? <laughs> He's the only Jets on the Sherlock. Honestly, that'd be hilarious if that was what, if that was a plot point in uh, 6.5. <laughs> if Lupin just kind of popped up out of nowhere somewhere. <laughs> The, the, this man. What if it was this man? Uh, Sigurd Kuya. We got. We actually did get Siegfried's wife and uh, to pop up in uh, JP recently. Krimhilder. Krimhilder, yeah. And she has a scream and a half. If if Brynhildr is like the the ASMR voice, that's like the very calm wife. Krimhilder is like the I will I will skin your cat alive kind of sc uh, scream kind of character. <laughs> It, here's what I'd like to imagine it is. Britain is like the like classical music version of her. Krimhild is the heavy metal I will blow out your eardrums version. I love Lupin to be there for one simple reason so Lupin can call Sherlock Herlock Sholmes. Herlock Sholmes? I mean, that is a character that exists. Looks at things, right? <laughs> I really, I, okay, Bryn, I love this outfit on you. I'm just, I don't think it works for you, sweetie. And why did you say you like the outfit on her? I like the, I uh, know I said I like the outfit, just not on her. It look, it looks good, but it doesn't really fit her character. She doesn't seem like she'd wear black. Well, she's wearing black now. I have a little look up Krim Hilder's voice lines. Uh, don't do it in a public- Please don't- Just don't do it in a public place. <laughs> don't do it in transit. Otherwise, you'll probably get kicked out of the bus. <laughs> yeah, dress has to match uh, Sigurd's, uh... They have, to, they have to match, obviously. Yeah, her luck. That that name is is a legendary. <laughs> and I've actually been. I actually played a little bit of. I haven't played through the entirety of it, but I have. I started a playthrough of a uh, Grace Attorney a while back. And I love I, I love that man's character so much. It's great. Sholmes is, is, is automatically one of my favorite characters in that game. Not even no cap. <laughs> no cap. Herlock Sholmes five star pretender class. <laughs> what? Why though? 
Why are we no, doing it, this? No, no, hear me out, though. It's Herlock Sholmes, Pretender, and his name changes to Arsene Lupin at the end. <laughs> That was a very noticeable silence. Good God, I'm sorry for my suggestion. <laughs> no, I'm just focused. Krimhild reminds me of the crazy anime late. Oh, uh, not that. Nope, not that gambling anime. No, 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 no. Wait, which one? Skandar's body double can be a server. Why can't Herlock Sholmes? I'm not saying anything wrong about Herlock Sholmes, but, um, I. Really, am not a big fan of that particular anime. Mm -mm, wait, not at all. Wait, which? No, no, I'm I'm serious. Which one? The um, the one that was re released on Netflix. It was like I can't remember. I I can't remember off the top name of the top of my head unless I look it up. Uh. Kakiguri? The next assassin server better be a five star Robin Hood or I'm Riot. Please, amen to that. Yeah. I like her in her third ascension. Looks really good on her. Hmm. But too busy for my taste. It, it just feels a bit too busy. There's too much yeah. going on with this one for me. Are you kidding? He used a bow one time in Legend. I'll go with her basic form for the time being. Yeah, Robin Hood as an assassin makes sense. Give it time, they'll find oh they'll find a way to put they'll sneak it in there somewhere one day. Like, come on, just give them like I wanna I want him to silently assassinate my enemies. Come on, come on, Garfield. <laughs> come on, Garfield. Now you see the ultimate joke about this entire about the, the ultimate irony is that this thing is not even run by Garfield, it's run by Nurgle. <laughs> oh Nurgle. god. Oh god. That one really obnoxious cat nobody likes. <laughs> Side note, by the way, I, I rolled on one of my uh one of my accounts to see if I could maybe get, you know. Uh another copy of Sigurd. Yes, Koya. That's the joke. First roll I get, I get spooked by a dog. <sighs> Give me a second to stretch. I'm gonna stretch. Lobo. Lobo is good dog. Lobo is best boy. Sorry, I'm just kind of jamming out to the music over here. That's fine. That's fine. Wait, did they make remake this again? Anyway, let's see. I gotta work on, uh, I gotta work on, uh, concert you at some point or another.
What do you mean I feel, you feel bad for me? I actually wanted this character. <laughs> bunny. I wanted the ra I wanted the bunny to join me. <laughs> I wa I was hunting rabbits. Ah. Uh... And look at that. I can make her level two. She's now level two. And nothing else. Actually, no, no. We're gonna make we're gonna level more if I can. Just a tiny bit. I wanted her for uh for car for weird strategy teams. For just what weird team shenanigans. I still haven't had the time to actually raise her up yet. Until now. is a pretty interesting character like just in terms of lore overall there's a lot of interpretations as how as to like how as legend goes Vlad, i do not say blah 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 i do not say blah 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 i will say this i did like the first one at least and i don't care for the second or third movies I don't understand why there was a second or third movie. Because screw you, give us money. <laughs> hey, Soda. Yeah, that's, that's part of the reason why a lot of a lot of uh, sequels get made because they just want the, they want to capitalize on recognition if a movie does really well or some other thing like that. Even if the, even if the first movie was didn't really didn't really necessarily need a sequel or anything like that. Also, best ascension for this character changed my mind. <laughs> I'm a sucker for like the whole like parasol like white hat like and all that jazz like this this I like this ascension a lot. It's a good ascension for her. I think he's refer I think uh Kenshin's referring to Paul Bunyan. But yeah. Also For now, like yeah, if chapter eleven. But yeah, I, I, I like the I like a lot of the first movies at the very least when it comes to like uh, a lot of the television stuff, like Code Transvenger One. I like Despicable Me One. I like their sequels, though. I couldn't care less about any of them. Or ha how about this way? What about the spin-offs for the sequels? Looking at you, Despicable Me. Exactly. And no, what? I don't like any of them. <laughs> Why did minions have to be a thing? Because it's the rabbits. Of, it, it's like the raving rabbits all over again, but now minions. Sand cast welfare assassin. I don't know what. Well, well, seems like a berserker, huh? Heracles Lily. Oh. Heracles Lily is actually just Hercules from the Disney movies. <laughs> what about Hercules Lily? We have her. What do mom? I want to get Hercules Lily. We have Hercules Lily at home. Hercules Lily at home is just Hercules Lily. <laughs> Hercules Lily. Last night, so I was on a roll. 
I mean, there's still always the, them possibly giving us pseudo servant uh, Kyrie. I want pseudo servant Kyrie so bad. Hmm. Yeah. I still have to wonder joke. what. I said, like, what class would he even be? Not sure. Like he fits, he he fits into a lot of them realistically. Saberku, Saberku, Kairi, Buster Caster. Ooh, support Buster Caster. We haven't had one of those in a while. Not since realistically Merlin. To be fair, though, Buster already has plenty of support as it is. Looks at uh, Merlin, Queen Sky, and Oberon as well. I don't think we really need another Buster support right now. <laughs> what, Genshin? What's up? Anything that with regard to me, even. Then it was a non flip. Merlin is a better mage than Morgana for one reason. He has clout. <laughs> Merlin can change somebody. Oh. I, I had a feeling it was. I had a, I, the second I saw that line, I was like, oh, it's 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 because the whole like trying. It's because he can uh, magic up a dick, isn't it? <laughs> Ooh, Ooh soda has got a good one. Attack animations would be Buster Shotgun. Arts would be Scattering Bones and Attacking. Quick would be the Flashbang. Extra card would be hitting the enemies with the car. Hey, Izo. Hello, Izo. Hmm. <laughs> this name. I need help. Hey, hang on. Let, let's see what this support list is. That is some dedication to Betty, and I appreciate that. Yeah, that's a, that's a, that's nice. That's a, that's a pretty good one. It's so nice pe seeing people level three stars to a hundred. Give right. love to the three stars, god damn it! What do you mean? I'm already doing that. Looks by level one hundred eight, Ushi. No, it, I I under okay, I understand. That. But it's like other people are like, <laughs> five star go burr, four star go burr. Would be an interesting Guda Guda servant. The first black samurai that worked under Oda Nobunaga. I have a 100 to 810 10 Spartacus. Nice. Spartacus! <laughs> Merlin. <laughs> Why well, can't I imagine him? That, that was actually the chant he did for Artoria. <laughs> I hate I, I hate that. <laughs> I, I you, know he, you know he would do that because he has clairvoyancy and is aware of memes. I can imagine him going even further and just be like, it just be like describing different parts of, of it and just be like, put it together and what you got? Bippity boppity boo. <laughs> Why? Oh no. No, the more, the more I think about it, the more the song makes sense with it. No, stop, brain! <laughs> I hate how my brain Ma works. <laughs> Max to 2000 Summer Python, now we need to get her permanent to grail her. Actually, do I have enough saved up at this point to max for Robin? You hmm, might. Right. I, I don't actually know how many foes I have right now. Stop thinking cursed things. <laughs> Bold here to assume my brain isn't ever not to give cursed things. Think only of me.
He's trying to 120 Sally. Uh -huh. I'm trying to 120 Yushi. Robin Hood stays in his summer outfit. He gets more gold flows than you expect because he get like 40 per instead of the 50 per. Well, I already have some in him. How many do I even have? Let me look here. Oh. No, I think it's like 20 per gold foe. Anyone from gym, by the way? Uh, no. I'll send him a quick ping, though. Cool. <laughs> what did you do? I'm sorry, what, I'm just- What? Dude. What? <laughs> you might as well just break out in the song at that point. <laughs> also, someone was giving me some while I was looking. <laughs> yeah, that happens. Are you going to be in a, a, a Aura's gym, or is it going to be a surprise? You'll see. You guys will see when we get to that soon-ish, later tonight. Let me, let me switch over to the stream account and start doing the story stuff there. Syrup player. Whoosh, oh. whoosh! I do appreciate I do appreciate the lurk at least soda. I thank you for the support either way. I think mm -hmm. the person gave me like four months of sub total so far. Huh. NP damage. No, I don't want I don't want NP damage. Foam girl sky. There we go. And just make sure you can't do anything. Stay put. Wait a minute. I just realized. This is David's uh, and this is David's rank up, yeah? Why is Stalfo yeah. Saber the last enemy here? <gasps> Why not? <laughs> because he's got a big anyway. Eight, 20, I have 24. Are you trying to say that the Saber stuff was giant? I mean... It's just giving me XP calculators. I don't want the XP calculators. I want to do the... the... <laughs> I don't need these calculators. I, I already do the calculations myself. I, I know I know what I need. Sorry. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Alright. Boss damage against giant enemies. Nice. <laughs> he has a he has a giant sen giant sensor. <laughs> oh you know. Oh you know. Unfortunately I know. Wait, how do you know? Stares at my own Asolfo. Mush. I hope you're aware of what that implies. And the fact that the are man I... won't leave me alone. M Mush, are you are, are you trying to tell me that you're, you're looking at Stolf always naked? No. He just keep he just keeps bugging me. Let's see. You look at just ten uh... here. That brings it to fourteen eighty. Okay. I gotta measure the stage four at some point. Stage four. Oh, 
COD in 4K. <laughs> COD. <laughs> you know, I could just leave. No. <laughs> I could just leave. No, 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 no. I could just leave. And I'm going to, because I gotta be right back because my stomach just started growling. Okay, go get some food. Oh, it's really... Oh. <laughs> Jesus, guys. Uh, well... Stretch! I guess while we're waiting uh, for things to kind of continue on, uh, what I could do is go back, to, is go ahead and get us back on the internet and get us on the stream account for a little bit. Just so we can kind of work on some other stuff. I think I'm going to do that. So here's what I'm going to do. We're going to the stream account for a little while. Is the right one yet? No, it's not. That's better. So while we're kind of waiting around for things to kind of get get going again. Oh yeah, I forgot. I turned off, I turned off everything for this one. Turn off the music for a second because apparently I had the music on for this one as well. Let's see. Your family, you for here. Uh, she never leaves. Oh yeah, I forgot. I have, I have a lot of tickets. Apparently, I have way too many tickets. I have a lot of tickets. That's a lot of tickets. I'm gonna save those tickets for later, though. But yeah, I've, I've been thinking about um, I've been thinking about this for a little bit, and I'm thinking about uh, what about a current roster. And I'm not gonna lie. Kara wouldn't be the worst thing to have on here for one main reason. We have a Castoria, and we only have really one servant realistically in, the, in this in this uh, in our Caldea that can take advantage of her entirely, and it's Musashi. So, yeah, we need to fix that. <laughs> we might need to fix that, or at least attempt to fix it. So, I'm gonna roll uh, a little bit for uh, just see if we can get a copy of Kiara or, or not. As well as try to get the C while we're at some C's for the event while we're at it. So let's see what happens. So, uh, we're doing this. Do I have a catalyst? Do I even have like a catalyst type thing for, uh, Gara or not? I don't even know if I even do. I don't know if I even have anything for Kiara specifically. Wait, no, no, I have something. Hold on, where is it? Where is the image? I have it around here somewhere. Where the frick is it? I need to find it again. Uh, that's not it. I'm pretty sure I had it in here somewhere. Uh... I guess I'm mistaken. I guess I thought I had something here, but I thought I, I thought I had something here. But I guess I didn't. Um. Oh no! No, there it is. There it is. I found it. The return of something a bit, a bit kind of cursed. As you can see on the screen, it's a very cursed image right there. Why can't I actually pick it again? Game, let me, let me work on this. There you go. Fine, fine Hans, I will attract her. So stream cam trying Kiara from Helltaker, more or less. There we go. Let's see if we can get ourselves a copy of Kiara around here or not. Let's see. So 
Start with the servant. Roma! Good start. Good start. <clears throat> Hans would be good. Yeah, Hans would probably be a good one too, honestly. From why? From why though? Hey Alex. Have you seen a woman in a, in a mermaid outfit around here anywhere? No? Okay. Just asking. Hmm, close, but no cigar. <laughs> That's close what we're looking for, but not not really what we're looking for. Hey Phoenix. Power of Rome compels thy. How's the world going? We ju we just started. We just started with it. There's three star C at least. I want a copy of that, so that's nice. Hmm. I'll do better. Oh, Holy King of Twilight. Neat. Not what I was, uh, C I was looking for, but you know what? I'll take it, I guess. I'm looking for some other CE specifically. I'm kind of hoping for like the uh, Honey Lake, at least one copy of Honey Lake, potentially. That's uh. Like, hey guys, I'm here! Hey Shaggy, how you doing, buddy? Projection. Okay, not a terrible start at least. We got uh, some decent C's from that. What else do you again? Buster and MP strength. That's that's not bad. We'll do another one. I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna use every single one I have to go for for go for to go for Kiara. She'd be nice. So I'm saying. I'd like to get her, but I don't think I want to go all in just for Kiara specifically. Even though she Guten Tag. Welcome back. Guten Tag. Hello, good sir. May I perhaps get eyeballs? Sure, you can have eyeballs. I'd rather like to see everything. They are your eyeballs. Ah, uh, thank you. Just to polish the present of them. Oh, Stacy. Nice. Happy drag. I just need one copy of Honey Lake, and we got one of each. Let's see. That was some weird delay for Let's Golden see. Tree's lineage. Ba, 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 ba. I should get a copy of Bryn, Ilya, plus Honey Lake, while simply avoiding Kiara, so I'm happy. As for me, for now, I'm gonna hold off on rolling because I want to wait for the two banner. Yeah, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not going ham on the uh, main accounts because a, I want to roll. For, I want to save for some uh, save some quartz and b I want to roll for Tomoe on that account anyway. So you say Tomoe, I say Abby. I mean Abby would be nice, but I'm looking for Tomoe for that for that banner honestly. I want my Kurdo Neko Pen Ginks. Like I'm back, man! And I'm better than ever! I mean, I am gonna do the Kudo Nickel No Pancake ritual. Like our just bring both to our dudes. That's true. Hey, Shinji. Servant. Archer. Bingo. Yeesh. That didn't go very well. Yeesh. If it wasn't for that Sacy, this looks like a fat mineral. 
It is a mineral, more or, or, more or less, but without the, uh... Alright, we'll do uh, one, maybe two more after this. Hey, Hazel. Alright, that's Temple. Cool. I do have some tickets I could probably throw at this too. I'm gonna copy say, that's nice. Drive. That, that's a nice artwork at least. Is that another one? It's another one, isn't it? Yep, it is. <laughs> I like that artwork, so I'll take it. Uh, that's also a good, like, C. It's also pretty good C for the event, so. Silver, Silver Curse is always nice. Vacation ritual. Uh, what, what was it? Five tickets and then a th and then ten pole. Was that was that the was that the Keyshawn thing? Sure, why not? Combine the two rituals into one. <laughs> do like do the five tickets and then do a blind and then do a blind roll for like the the last for like the ten pole or something like that. See where that goes. So far, we're not really batting. We're not exactly batting a thousand over here. I say that. Hi, Bren. I can't do a blind roll uh, uh, with a with the five. Uh, I have to. I have to submit the thing for the tickets, and then I, I have to look at least for the tickets, so I can get that going at least. I like Brent. She's cool. Although we probably won't end up using her too much in this one because, again, we have got Juna here, so... Brent is still nice to have. Yeah. Okay, we'll do one more 10 pull, and then after that I might need, I'm, I, I think I'm gonna need to call my, cut my losses a little, a little bit because... I'm about to say you can blind the 10 pull, though. I will! That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do the 5 tickets, and I'm gonna do a 10 pull, and then we'll do a blind 10 pull. Okay. So we'll throw some tickets at this. Can you just shot it up? Hi, Shinji. Off to a great start, I see. Ah, heck. Mm. What the? Uh, there, oh, there it is! Hi. Well, there she is! Hi, Kiara. Why oh, hello? Sawaka, Sawaka. <laughs> Hi, Jim. Oh, hey, perfect timing. You came in just in time. <笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> Why was that awesome with so much breath? Must <laughs> ah. be some sort of fate, roll credits. Hmm. I'm gonna try to be the very best. Oh no, 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 I, no, no, 
Nope. <laughs> well, we got Kiara. Good stuff. <laughs> well, we now have another uh, art super to work with for Castorius. So that's good. Our um, first skill has so much text with it. Why? Because it's an, it, the skill is, um, is overloaded. <laughs> Anyway, like good God, <laughs> I I will go ahead and throw three more because I did say I was gonna do I was gonna I was gonna throw at least five tickets to this, so I'm gonna do at least three more. See if I can get the Honey Lake at least. So we'll do three more. Mm -hmm. Gives me enough time to finish my chicken fries. Hydra. Hail hydrate. Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to actually get the, uh, the sea itself. Oh, well. We got, we got Kiara and Brynhildr, so I'll take that as a win. I must say, you're only missing one of the raid-ups right now. Yeah, we're missing Ilya. Oh. I was going to say, if that if I jinxed it... <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, like, I I saw I thought I saw it go for a split second, and I'm like, no. It's Roma. It's just, it's just Roma. Roma. Oh. Not bad. Uh, ninety about uh, three temples and five, and a few and a few tickets. That's not bad. Same basically same as our castaway rolls essentially. <sighs> All right. Well, with that being said, uh, we've got ourselves a long road ahead of us for the event. Maybe not tonight, but it's gonna be a, it's gonna get uh become a a bit of a. You know, you know how these events go, especially for summer. They go on for a while. <laughs> so, go ready to go? Yeah. Oh, oh, Jim, I, I have some slight regrets to tell you, but I won't be able to enjoy your gift until Sunday. <laughs> I work every day. <laughs> Which makes me very sad. All right, we good to go? Mush, Jim. Mic check one two. Am I ever ready? <laughs> All right, let's go. <sighs> Engage the SCP. Opening. Showtime. One two. Now I think this is technically me speaking here, maybe, or it could. I think mm -hmm. it, might, it could either be you or me, but I think I'm gonna assume it's. Yeah, I think it's just probably me. Yes, yeah, anyway. you. I'm also going to go ahead and quickly do one more change because I forgot to do that earlier. Just one quick change. There you go. Humans, by their very nature, shrink from pain, abhor despair, and feel and flee fear itself. For such are bringers of harm, thieves of happiness. Yet for all that, humans are still drawn to fear. Yearning to know the strange and unfamiliar, they coax it out of hiding, even as they fear it. That is all for the good, as long as it can be done safely. And so humans seek fear as a kind of entertainment. It can be argued that this curiosity about the unknown may prepare one for when something to truly fear shows its face. Fear. Horror. Is the stuff of the trials all must overcome. I just get cursed. <laughs> it, full body blank. Within 10 minutes, person to improve a quality based simulation procedure just required. Subject complete procedure overhaul required. What? 
that's not ominous at all. That's that was very menacing. Mm-hmm. Well, Senpai, I mean, Master, it's summertime again. <sighs> yep, summer, huh? Yes. If you think about it, our summers have always been uh, something, haven't they? You can say that again. Oh, do you want me to say it again? Senpai, please, don't drift away! You'll end up in another event! Uh, oh, God! I was about to fall into another- I was about to go falling from the- from the sky again. Oh, not again. I wouldn't mind if the summer was much calmer and cooler than previous ones. You know, please, maybe. Hey, hey! How's my favorite master and demi servant? I see you two are up nice and early rather than your usual summer vacation as an excuse to keep late. But we see me! <laughs> yeah, I wish I could do that. So now that you're up, I can share some big news. I suggest you pull up a chair because you'll probably want to be sitting down for this. Oh no, not again. Here we go again. Um, Mash, why, why, why do you have that traumatized look on your face? Spoken like a master who's seen his share of summer action. I am Moto Feliz if that you're keeping up. <laughs> we have yet another minute singularity on our hands. And just when we got our hands full in lies and treat and too. Which one? Yes. <laughs> Anyway, I'll give you guys a proper briefing up in the command room, as per usual. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, no beach. There's no beach. Thank goodness. There was so much sand last time. I hope you like summer camp, because this one's going to be up in the mountains. <laughs> and just like that, she's gone again. So, not the beach, but the mountains? Summer camp, huh? Huh. Iso. <laughs> so remember how I needed to rebuild civilization? A weird race with the useless gods held an eldritch AI, trapped us for months using dojins. Lost a where that thing happened. I wanted a relaxed summer. But no, we gotta go to a summer camp that's haunted. <laughs> that's right. The beach isn't the only place to hold summer themed events. Trips to the mountains surrounded by nature's beauty, although not my beauty, have been a beloved kind of vacation for generations. Hmm, getting away from all the noise and din of the city, camping out in cottages and cabins, playing tennis, getting soft from ice cream at the gift shops filled with weird local knickknacks and accessories, rafting, ropeway, spelunking, everyone roasting marshmallows together over a bonfire. Yep, summer camp might be the ultimate leisure activity, but something for just about everyone. I see. Caldea is a very unusual environment, so it doesn't have much in the way of leisure. But the woods on a typical Vern Mountain would be perfect for camping out. There are even some famous places whose primary industry is camping tourism, like Karuzawa in Japan. Let me you should mention that, because exactly where this is. As usual, it's in Japan. Meanwhile, the sky is blue. <laughs> <sighs> Well, in some places it might not be blue, but either way, we still don't know exactly where in Japan it is, though. Since there's a bounded field preventing us from pinpointing its location. Uh, of course there is. There's always a bounded field. I can't- I, I don't understand it half the time! Anyway, have you ever heard of any mystery spots like that since you're a Jap Japan nerd that would generate their own bounded field like this? You are yet? In the story? No. Gotcha? Yes. Can't say I have, no. Eventually. They've never been camping? Not me, I- not from a lack of interest, mind you, but never actually been, like, full-on camping. I mean, me and Jim kinda technically got back from a weird version of camping. Mmm. Speaking of which, we Jim. We basically went to our own summer camp. <laughs>
Uh, you know. Sorry, I was getting water. Oh, okay. okay. Fair enough. Hmm. Japan's not terribly big as countries go, right? Surely, surely the singularity can't be that hard to find. I'm sorry. Hold on. I just I just thought about this. Wait, Jim's actually hydrating. <laughs> Yes, well, I did just finish eating cereal, so... That's fair. <laughs> Can't you put up a visual on the monitor and determine its location from the surrounding landscape or something? It's not that easy, Gordolf. Japan might look small on a map, but it's actually about the same size as your homeland, and it's also home to our over 100 million people. On top of that, it's got an absolute ton of mountains. I would, I should know. I've been to a bunch of mountains before. Those mountains are pretty much impossible to tell apart from anyone who lives in a metropolitan area. So a single person's memories and usual haunts aren't going to be enough to figure out which campground this is. Hmm. Sorry, I was stealing snark skin. As luck will have it, we do have some video footage from the site. Take a look. I too, I actually like to imagine that that, that the entire time Dwitchy is eating snacks and Gordolf's also eating a bowl of cereal right now. <laughs> <laughs> I can totally that see looks... that happening. Dementia, you said this takes place in the mountains, right? Yeah? It looks like there's a lake. I mean, lakes can be in mountains. <laughs> see? Exactly, Chovo. From what we can tell, this lake is right in the middle of the campground. Looks like it's been closed maybe a few years since there doesn't seem to be anyone using it. Yeah, that's not a campground, it's a ruin! Yeah, you say tomato, I say tomato. Don't worry, I've already sent an advance team on ahead. They've got the food situation all handled, and the range security checks on the perimeter as we speak. <laughs> Wait, so there are servants who went to the Singularity ahead of us? That's right, broadly speaking, we'll be dealing with three types of servants this go around. The first is servants summoned by the Singularity directly who have absolutely nothing to do with us, hopefully. Thanks to she, we've been able to serve at least a few of those there, and give or take a couple. We can't tell who any of these heroic spirits are yet, but luckily none of them are showing up as hostile, thank god. So I am... Pretty, pretty optimistic that they'll be willing to help us out once we explain the situation. The second is Caldea servants that were drawn to the Singularity when it first spawned. Kukulain was one of them. The moment he found out the Singularity was calling to him, he was all... Uh, hunting in the mountains, now you're talking my language, I'll go ahead and set up the campsite. And heroically ran off to join the advance team. He's probably getting food, shelter, and camp-appropriate clothing ready for you to mash at the campgrounds even as we speak. He did bring a lot of fishing poles when he was running past. And last, but definitely, definitely not least, there's you guys. The survey team you're going to lead will head out soon. Really, team is a pretty loose term for the guys that went in advance, so you still have a lot of info gathering for yourselves once you get to do, once you get there. But don't worry, the survey team I'm putting together will consist of servants who know their way around Japan. So all you have to do is investigate the singularity as, you know, usual. Got it. We'll do our best. Good, good. Now then, make sure you keep your reports accurate and concise. That, that you contact us right away if necessary, and that you be honest and forthcoming if you're if you should need to consult us about anything. Good communication should be a basic skill for any responsible adult, after all. Hang on, I'm just gonna screen cap this. <laughs> I'm True. I'm gonna screen cap that, and then save it for, la for later use, because it's like it's gonna come in handy for later when Gordon does something stupid again. <laughs> or anyone, for that matter. <laughs> I was about to say, th this is a perfect screenshot of before, and then after is the beginning of Lost Bell 3. Exactly. <laughs> like Gordy said, now, different note. I've got a little present for you. See, I figured you want to make a splash for our first summer camp excursion. So... Oh, I want you to do this time. Ta-da! Check it out, it's the latest in Caldea fashion. A summertime-only leisure mystic coat. Ooh. 
I modeled it after youth scouting group uniforms since they're all about camping. <laughs> we have officially become a Boy Scout! Yes! <laughs> Oh, okay, but better question, though. What about MASH? Do you have a new Mystic Code for her, too? File oh, name. Me. File name. Break glass when Gordy does something stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, let me rename that real fast. Hey, Holmes, did you save the recording? Hmm. Of course oh. I did. <laughs> you, you didn't. You prick. Oh, um, please don't worry about me, Master. We demi-servants are pretty tough, so I'll be fine with this. I'm so glad you asked, Chilva. You bet I did! You'll be going to a mountain this time, and also wearing the same summer clothes as last time just wouldn't be quite right now, would it? Ah, <laughs> uh, Gordoff asking the, uh, the real questions here. <laughs> Hang on just a moment. A mystic coat I can understand, but a swimsuit? Yes, Mash may be a demi-servant, but she's also a member of Caldea's staff. And while I can understand your desire to enjoy your time off, this is still a special mission, not a vacation. Mash needs to be focused first and foremost on Chilwa's protection. Surely there are much more important things to prepare than new swimsuits. Who asked you, Dad? <laughs> <laughs> also, I, li I like the top one, too. Director, with all due respect, please shut up right now. <laughs> it's like, we can... We can... We can sass him two different ways here. It's great. That, this one caught me off guard when I saw the second line. And by the way, I want to point out, I was doing this entire like first section when I was in the middle of my break and there were people around me. So when I saw this line, I'm like, <laughs> I had to kind of re 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 like repress my snickers. Uh... Dad. Yeah, Gordy, lighten up. Besides, while they might show some skin, these swimsuits totally have defense covered. Uh -huh. Now come on, Mash. Let's get you down to my workshop and it's new clothes. I've got around no power fire. Twenty suits to choose from. Bikinis, one pieces, name it. Just let me know which one you like and I'll turn it into a nice new mystic code for you. Oh, I should let you know that some of them are more risque than others. But if you ask me, that just makes this summer a perfect opportunity to knock Tovo dead. Hey, remember that? Remember that? Uh, the kill, the Kate Gilmesh uh, uh, interlude where he was trying to get her to wear a swimsuit. I like to imagine Davinci actually kept one of those designs that she had them working on. No, 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 no. She actually sold his entire notebook of designs. <laughs> Davinci is a person of culture. It's either that or they just straight up collaborated. Oh God. Honestly, I can see it. I would be I wouldn't be surprised. Davinci has to get the funding for these somehow. Uh uh thanks, Da Vinci, that all sounds great. Oh no. I've got a bad feeling about this. If I wait <laughs> She's actually like they walked away, but in actuality Da Vinci like grabbed the back of Madge's shirt and just dragging her away. What do you think you're doing? This is a singularity we're dealing with, not a fashion show. What's more, this one is up in the mountains. Have you forgotten what sort of hell we, read I, faced in the last mountain singularity? I still can't look at hot springs in pamphlet without trembling. Oh no. Not the Benny Enma. <laughs> Jovo, you're a singularity pro by now, aren't you? Go on, man, say something. Tell the technical advisor and Miss Kirillite that they need to take these matters more suit. Huh? He's gone. Where did he go? Trevo? Oh, he ran off to his room with his new Mystic Code, looking pretty excited. Yeah, blame them, really. At their ages, they usually be sp spending summer vacation living up, living up instead of saving the world. Seeing how you're the resident father figure here, maybe you ought to cut the two of them some slack. Father figure? <laughs> I'm only in my twenties. I like how this is being said by Emmy, uh, the rest of mother figure. <laughs> <laughs> also, why is that a big mood from Gordolf? Uh, yeah, there we right go. There we go. Yeah, yeah. that got me off guard too. I mean, probably mid to late twenties for Gordolf, but still, that's actually. Yeah, I was about to say if he's in his if he's still in his twenties, he's got to be like twenty seven to twenty nine. Yeah. At least. What if it's Mash? Come in! 
Come in. Get out! Anyone here? I don't want to hear it. Turn around. Turn your metallic ass around and get out. My apologies for not being mesh, Master. You better be sorry. <laughs> And just like that, you may Ren murks me on the spot. Game over, we're gone. So, so, so White, this what? is you. This is you. Oh, that was I, the switch, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Have fun, uh, you two. Huh. I mean... Hmm. I mean, you already have a couple that are more pr are in this well as well. Yeah, I freaking go, I go nuts. If you know what's good for you, you won't treat Lord Zhang Yu like badly just because he's not mash. I'm totally not doing this just because I don't want to have to any relation with Zhang Yu at all. <laughs> <laughs> totally not doing that. Oh, Auto correct, fucked it, but he's he's 28. So I guess you were you were right in the middle there, Jim. The immortal odd couple. Uh, is that like the fairly odd parents? <laughs> Jovo is an average kid that no one what understands. understands. <laughs> Wait, hold on. What? Oh, hold on, hold on. Sherlock Vinci Gordoff always giving him commands. Unacceptable! <laughs> No, 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 no. I'm not going to finish that, even though that'd be a funny parody. It would be hilarious. Also, uh, and also imagining, uh, also imagining, uh, also, uh, imagining Zhang Yu with Cosmo's voice makes him ten times more likable. <laughs> <laughs> At least to me. We are letting you know that we have decided to travel the Slave Singularity as well. I requested that we do so. I'm guessing that you will need my beloved for this next mission, both for her abilities and to aid humanity. Beloved. <clears throat> <clears throat> so yeah, j just let Da Vinci know, got it? Uh... You're not gonna tell her yourself? Look, I got a lot going on, okay? Thank you for your implicit trust in my calculations, as well as granting our request, Master. If I could be so bold as to ask one more thing of you, I am hoping you could give this letter to Miss Da Vinci. Will do. She proceeds to chuck it in the fireplace. Oh, you've wrote a letter, beloved? Letter, beloved? What about? I described the tools we will need in order to resolve this new singularity. One must be prepared for every contingency before setting foot into enemy territory, after all. Oh my, what an excellent point. You're so smart, Lars Young, you. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go again. Wait, did that, did that dog just talk? <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry. Wait, when did the dog talk? Oh, Jello, what's up? Uh, the dog just talked. <laughs> Uh, he's been doing that for a while, don't worry. Anyway, you have a letter from Zhang Yu? Great, thanks. No problem, anyway, I'm gonna go burn my hands so I'm gonna touch anything that uh, that guy handed me. See you later. <laughs> Please don't actually burn your hands. Too late. Oh, oh great. And yeah, we got a code 63 on our hands. <laughs> and, then we, and then we can use those comments were tied perfectly there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they coordinated that either. That was perfect. <laughs> no. Wait, that's a dog? Always has been. <laughs> but what if it's a puppy cat? <laughs> now then, what did the horse have to say? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's this mm -hmm. about now? It's a request from Zhang Yu. Hmm, I see. Are you sure this last one is a good idea? Yeah, this is Chova we're talking about. I'm sure it'll be fine. It's not as if he has a restraining order on Jung Yu. I am Emperor. Emperor. Oh, it's you. 
We are told you are about to head off to repair a singularity, was it? Oh, very good. So, ordinarily, we would grace you with our presence and accompany you in bringing the singularity to, singularity to heal, but... But... What? Yes, well... You didn't summon me in the GSSR, therefore I'm, go I'm not going to bother. <laughs> It seems we are unable to punish it for reasons that are beyond our control. However, we have also selected someone to go in our place, so be confident, like a ship's captain. Though we wonder what sort of ship this will turn out to be. One with a crew of about 3,000 people, perhaps? <laughs> ah, the Mothman. Oh. <laughs> Login. Logins. Hey, halfway there, guys. We're already halfway there. Living Boy, on a prayer. No, Jim, you're doing it wrong. Squidward on a chair. <laughs> what? <laughs> You've not heard of that one before? No, no, I have not. Oh, oh god dang it, they're making us do this one again. Ah. We already did it, so we can skip. I know. We can skip it, but still, so come on. <laughs> Nightwing. Did that dog just talk? Thank you, what the dog doing? What the dog doing? Speak. Fuck. Good boy. <laughs> <laughs> Good boy. Okay, all ready to go. Got everything I need to tackle the singularity and to enjoy all the campgrounds leisure activities. That's great. We might be going there on a mission, but we're still talking about summer in the mountains. So the more camping gear we have on hand, the better. I've got plenty of stuff I'm planning to bring, too. Now see, if I had dressed like that at Play on Con, I would have melted. Yeah. Also, sorry, I, I, I'm... I contractually obligated as someone who has a bond 10 Emiya to say, uh, mother. <laughs> Emiya, is that you? Uh, uh, uh. Says the singularities in Japan and all, I was assigned to go along with you. Also, I just noticed you completely uh, ignoring MASH there. Not cool, man. <laughs> as your mother, I don't approve. <laughs> but I knew my usual outfit would stand out too much, so I had this new one made up just for, just for summer. I know I can be kind of a stick in the mud when I'm in my usual red mystic code. Especially considering I tend to try to kill myself. But in this one, I can relax and go with the flow. Just think of me as your friendly college upperclassman, you know? It's not every day we get to go to summer camp, after all. So we might as well enjoy roughing it up. Which college clubs do you recommend I join, upperclassman? Uh, archery. Just anything but pole, vol but po but pole vaulting. Oh. Okay, weirdly specific, but sure. How about the fishing club, anyway? Assuming they clean and cook everything they catch naturally. I'm thinking we can enjoy the mountains while we investigate during the day and learn about them while we investigate at night. Though, of course, we'll need to be careful not to relax our guard too much. All set. All right, let's get going already. It tells me this investigation is the last thing on our mind, isn't it? <laughs> uh, something to say? Say for someone who cares. Can I at least ask what's up with that spear? The one that you're, uh, going to make some very interesting moves with later? <laughs> ah, you can't go high. In fact, I'm glad you did. I'm holding onto the spear for Lord Xiang Yu, so you better worship it as much as you do me. Uh... That's where how I ended up with it. <laughs> I love the fact that it's the hard transition. <laughs> it's the hard transition. By the way, beloved. Yes, what is it? My calculations have informed me that I should give this to you. Your spear? Is, this, is the enemy we're going to be facing there that powerful? To make a long story short, I expect you will find yourselves in danger more than once. Furthermore, it is now summer. Um, I am not seeing the connection. While my own definition is still incomplete, I have learned summer resorts contain threats called summer monsters. When I added them to my list of variables, I arrived at the conclusion that it was better to be safe than sorry. Summer 
I want to. Maybe there are phantasmals native to Japan? I'll have to look at them myself later. There's no way I'm letting Lord Xiang use kindness go to waste after all. Alright, if that's what you think is best, I promise I'll take excellent care of it. I'll think of it as part of you being by my side at all times. Not that it'll matter much in practice since I won't be leaving your actual side after all, even after we get there. Ah, wheeling Lord Xiang Yu's stone spear next to Lord Xiang Yu himself. It'll be a whole new kind of private collaboration. <laughs> is she a teen the question here is, is she a teenager or a young looking granny? If it's the latter, then Helena's got a friend. <laughs> <laughs> the hard transition every time. As for how I ended up, that, that is between uh, me and, of course, Lord Xiang Yu. Really, the fact that you trust me with this just goes to show how much he cares about me. Ah, uh, just holding the spear feels like Lord Xiang Yu is wrapping me up in a tie and grace. Uh... True, that is a magnificent spear. Hmm. I wonder if we could use it as a fishing rod. You there! Don't you dare lump in Lord Xiang Yu's one of kind spear with your everyday fishing gear. Besides, Lord Zhang, you would never need bait nor line to catch fish. Oh, a harpoon. One of the first types of authentic fishing gear ever invented. Awesome. Here's hoping we find some good rivers where we can use it. I'll let you off the figurative hook this time since you're clearly admiring it. But don't interrupt me again, nameless heroic spirit. I make no promises. Hmm. Guess I could at least call you Emia. Call me whatever you like, though personally I would prefer to go by Amia this time around. My beloved. Yes, Lord Shangyu? Can you see- did you see the, like, the shake at the start there? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I actually just see hearts flint out those two, or have I finally lost my mind? That was a lot of hearts. That was a lot of hearts. <laughs> Good, so it wasn't just me. No, it was not just you, Kornolf. I'm pretty sure those what? two are- I, I know which characters are at Bond 10 right about now. Mm-hmm. Uh, senpai, I, I think I've seen these at a few shows that, uh, our, our friend the Doctor was watching. Hmm. Oh, I'm blanking on this. Uh, I, I, I remember seeing this. This is- oh, this is, uh, you. It is, uh, the- one of the other halves of the couples. Uh, wait, I'm pretty sure... No, this is Jim. This yeah, is Jim. No, this, this is Jim, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah no, it is Jim. Jim. Yeah. Who male voice, this? male voice. Okay, I'll uh, just go uh, with... I'm about, about to say, it, it's a... Uh, Here's a hint, half... he's got a costume too. <laughs> he wears glasses. He might be related to Seto Kaiba. <laughs> ah, as did I. <laughs> I wonder, does this mean I can visually express how I feel towards my own beloved in a similar way? Another thing I could say is that he also may or may not be called Star-Lord in some areas. <laughs> hmm, fascinating. I might have to practice to ensure I get it right. <laughs> That's I know that lovey dubbiness. Hi, Sigurd! So you recognize me from the affection I hold for my beloved? Nothing could make me happier. You, uh, don't say. And just like Lord Enya, I too asked Lady Skafan to arrange a similar outfit for me. I'm very pleased with it. It is already, it is already helping me stay cool. It's easy to move around in this book. I'll say it's helping you stay cool. You look great. Senpai is right. It suits you very well, Sigurd. I suggest you save those sort of compliments for Master Mesh. <laughs> that goes for you as well, Master. It is only proper that you begin by praising your first servant. Oh, oh yeah, you, you're right. Uh, right, I, I did completely ignore Mesh the entire time. What was I thinking? Sorry, please. Senpai. <laughs> okay, and the question here is... Do we go for the mild option or the over-the-top option? I mean, she does look very over cute. Top. Over the top. I mean, to be fair, I can't pull it down over here. Hold on, we'll do it after this. 
You look more beautiful than ever, Mash. Like, to be, to be fair, to be fair, it is a good swimsuit. It is a very cute swimsuit. Uh, no! <laughs> Can't you just lead a girl, lead with that? Give the girl some warning! It's okay, okay, it's okay. We can... She's sinking! <laughs> She's struggling, oh no! It's okay, I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay, I, I, I'm okay. I think we, I, I think we might have broke her. <laughs> Do direct, Joe, though. You gotta save that kind of thing for when you two are, you know, uh, all alone. Trust me. I, I love I the sweat know. drop. I love the sweat drop. He actually has a sweat drop face. Yeah, it's like, it's like buddy, you, you gotta save that sort of thing when you're alone. Probably in a, probably in a, a room somewhere. Trust me. I know these things. Mash.exe stopped working. Would you like to reboot? Hey, at least Sigurd's happy with the response. <laughs> well said, Lord Chovo. That is exactly what I what I would expect from my master. I have experienced it with three persons. Also, god damn, I just noticed the music. Yes, it's the freaking you know, it's the this music. Of course it is. It's always <laughs> this music. Are you ever, are you surprised at this point? I'm not. Uh, hey, uh, Emilia, is it just me or those two way more relaxed than usual? It's not just you. Anyway. Well, everyone, as you can see, those two servants have good heads on their shoulders, so I've trusted them with leading the operation. I will scout a list with the rest of the crew will be coming along. Here you go, Chovo. Wait, wait, hang on, let me see that. Sure thing. You're sending four other servants who change the sweatsuits so they can blend in better? Are you crazy? Isn't that a bit much? Between Chobo, Mash, Emmy, Sigurd, me, and of course, Lord Chobo, you. Don't you think we have more than enough firepower to handle what we have, whatever we find there? I'm afraid not. I expect we will need at least this many if we are to successfully complete this mission. But worry not, beloved, I have absolute faith in your ability to guide this conflict to a resolution. Mm -hmm. Yes, of course. And um, once I have it and everything is nice tomorrow, maybe you and I could, you know? So, uh, I just realized her hairpin is like a chibi Yes, it is. It's, it actually is kind of cute. <laughs> she has chibi young you on her head. It is actually really adorable. Once this is over, you and I enjoy a luxurious vacation together. Uh, yes! Yes, yes, I can't wait. Yes, 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 yes. Now come on, Mash, Kohai, quit making googly eyes at each other and let's ray shift already. Oh, but, uh, oh, wait, we, we were, we were making, uh, <laughs> uh, shut it. Okay. All set. Great. Okay, guys, I'm about to start the ray shift. Let's make sure the summer's another one to remember. <laughs> and ray shift! Ray shift! Royal Rainbow! Why didn't this conversation? Someone, please kill me. That was very uh, pleasant sounding. That was that was pleasant. E. All right. Also, wait. I know you've done this on your own account, but uh, this next one actually has two different characters you to voice, but both of them are you, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, do you want soft or do you want sturdy? I know what the first one is, but I don't know what the second one is. Eh, why not? Eh, sure. Oh, hey, Amia. Ah, uh, good. Making sure my kid doesn't die from there. Thanks, Mom. No problem, kid. That's enough of that. I know all this natural beauty is very moving, but we still need to make sure we're safe and then inspect our surroundings. Did everyone get it? Go go get with the race shift. Feel free to learn lean on me if anything if any if having trouble standing up. Oh, hey, Lady Murasaki. I didn't know you were coming along too. Yes, I'm also from Japan, which is why I was chosen. I hope I can be of assistance to you on this mission, Master. It's a little embarrassing to be wearing a swimsuit for the first time. But I figured there was no time like summer, summer to try bold and daring. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, that. Glad to have you aboard, Murasaki. 
Thank you, Master. Now, where could everyone else be in here? Hmm. What? Don't tell me your coordinates are off again. Chovo, are they always off like this? When are they not off? It's never correct. You can tell this is her first time doing this. <laughs> I swear, you think Da Vinci would know how to work the dang ration equipment by now? You, you think? You would think. Hmm? Wait, wait. Hang on. Sorry. I, we're showing you. I can't sense him anywhere. We're, we're showing you. Is he using presents? Could seem like an assassin or something. Are you there, Da Vinci? Hey, do you read us? Da Vinci. Hmm. Donatello's the better artist! It usually gets them. Da Vinci! The number you have reached is no longer in service. <sighs> it's voicemail. No sooner do we get here than we're already cut off. What do you make of this, Chobo? I'd like to hear your opinion on this one. Eh, this isn't our first rodeo, so I think we'll be fine. Good answer. I can see your time fighting to save humanity has taught you a great deal. Broadly speaking, there are two possibilities as to why we lost contact. One is that a given Divine Spirit or Servant Sora is so strong that it is inadvertently jamming our signal. While well, it's certainly a pain, this possibility can be dealt with easily and safely just by escaping their aura. But the same can't be said for the second one, the possibility that someone is intentionally, maliciously jamming our signal, which is probably the, the actual reason. In which case, we're kind of boned. Not like the bone of our sword, of course. Master, looks like our luck isn't on our side. Guess we won't be able to kick back and relax just yet. Oh, wait, hold on. I... I... Oh, God. My sister Lee and Six are ticking. Ticking. Who's there? <laughs> Uh, wait, I don't think this is the sister. No, it is not. I feel another disturbance somewhere. I hmm. believe this is... I think this one might also be me. I'm pretty sure. Uh, so it is. probably, yeah. I mean... Ah, yeah, it is. <clears throat> I'm very sorry about this, but might I interrupt for a moment? Oh, it's just the Prince Longley. Not my Zhang Yu. What are you even doing here? I didn't even see your name on the crew list. I mean, I do like your new outfit. It is very summery, and it kind of looks good on you. Thank you, Yumi Ren. I was told this would be more seasonally appropriate. I initially tried to resist, saying there was no need for me to change my clothes just because it was summer. However... But you ended up caving, huh? Yes, I did cave. Not gonna lie, he kind of looks like better here. Yeah. If the better of your comparisons didn't look more, more, more obvious with his original artwork, it looks very obvious here. <laughs> Especially with the ponytail. Yeah. Yeah, his little ponytail. He, Man, you... you. Yeah. Man, you really were a wuss when you were alive, huh? That time you learned to stand up for yourself, if you ask me. <clears throat> I'd prefer we not dwell on that now, if you don't mind. I'm quite aware of what people refer to me as these days. Ah, you mean a twink? Yes, that. <laughs> Yeah, you are pretty twinkish. I actually come bearing a letter from Lord Zhang Yu. <gasps> really? Why did you say so? Look, look, give, give, give it here. Uh, you could at least ask for. Oh, okay, she just. No, nope. all right then. <clears throat> to my beloved. Oh gosh! Oh gosh! Oh gosh! Oh gosh! Um, what about the rest of the letter? <laughs> the, yeah, yeah, I, I'll get to it when I get to it. My beloved. Okay, <clears throat> let's see. my beloved. <laughs> you know, it fills me with shame to say this, I cannot go with the this for shift. I have calculated that my going will result in the singularity becoming established if I have been an undeveloped pet by human history. Conversely, the same would be true if you did not go. The last thing I wish to do is to see you, beloved, but if that is what I must do to save humanity, that's right. Uh, my dear. I'll be counting the moments until you are safe return. That the floating like head is amazing. What? And just like that, you you may Ren has stopped working. 
So, there is something getting in our way. At least the ratio itself was successful. Where's that? Ah, here comes the second round of servants now, master. Wait, wait. Oh, hold on. Now my sister's sensors are ticking. Are ticking. <laughs> Choco! Uh, did you just headbutt me? <laughs> Yay! It's summer vacation, Jovo! I love summer vacation! Look, look! I made a list of everything I want to do this summer. This is gonna be so much fun, I just know it! What should we do first? Mm -hmm. Shaved ice, watermelon, fireworks, oh, but there's also this, and this, and, 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 and. <laughs> It's okay! Calm down, you can keep going, this isn't the military. You're free to behave how you like here. <laughs> I, I, I'm so sorry, I can't just run around doing like whatever I like, can I? Can I? I was just so excited after getting a sweatsuit and reshifting that I, 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 I forgot about my job with Kelia. I'm so ashamed, Master. It's fine. Kids are supposed to be happy and energetic about these things anyway. Uh, I, I am sorry. Kelly always gets a little needy when she's excited, Master. Don't worry about it. I think you just might have to indulge her to help her get out of her system. Don't you ever shut up, Ruby! You Have you been around me for, for the past five minutes? I never shut up. Uh, you're right. It could be ray shift sickness. Servants don't get it, but my understanding is that you're a very unusual case. Yeah, I guess you could say that. Well, don't worry about it. Hmm, it looks like the other servants are here too. Once we get a base camp set up, we should... Hmm? Wait, is that a cottage over there? It would seem so. Hmm, it might be a trap, but it's still worth investigating. First, though, we should make sure to secure our surroundings. I've only taken a quick look around so far, but I've already seen glimpses of what appear to be demonic beasts. I see. Then we should start by clearing up the nearby areas. Sha, 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 sha. Breathe, woman, breathe! I don't need to breathe! Actually, I, I was going to say, yeah, you do, but then I realized, wait a minute, that might actually be accurate. <laughs> she is a vampire. Um, what should we do about Lady Yume Ren? Uh, leave her there for a bit. She'll she'll calm down. All right. Um, oh, oh, right then. We'll just leave her there, I guess. Show you, show you, show you, show you, show you. God. She's like sitting on the edge of the lake, like just collapsed. Just show you. She's just muttering nothing but showing you. <laughs> yep. Hmm. I see. I see. Senpai? Ash? Senpai! I'm so glad to see you again! Eggplant! <laughs> I was worried you said when I didn't see you anywhere after the race shift. I don't know if you already know this, but we can't contact Caldea right now. In the meantime, I was just investigating this cottage along with the other servants who really shifted here. Ah, there you are, Master. Sounds like you and Mesh were just discussing this mysterious cottage. I've been taking a look at it myself. It's quite a fascinating place. Oh, come on, I'll show you around the inside. Give me one second, I gotta try something here. Ooh. Uh, hang on at one second. It's the... I was I, I remembered I was going to do something here, but apparently I forgot about it. Uh... Nah, never mind, it's fine. Whoa. As you can see, Master, this cottage has everything we will need during our stay. I can also promise you there is nothing strange about it, as I used rooms to conduct my investigation. Oh, um, Sigurd is right. I have been investigating this thoroughly too, and I can also confirm that this guy is just safe. Also, I I, I want to ask you too a very specific a question here. What does this place room? What does this room remind you of right now? <laughs> well, that too, but, uh... 
It, it looks like a very cozy cabin. I don't know that voice. Oh, yes, Master, it's Spernild. I You just recently got me, if I remember right. Is that you, beloved? Wow, I think I've fallen in love with you all over again. Uh, stop that, Sigurd. You know you're a heroic dragon slayer. You must say things like that in public. <laughs> Sorry. I guess I did get a little carried away. Nah, that's a lovely to be couple if I've ever seen one. She's like slowly pulling out the sword and aiming it right at Sigurd. I wouldn't be surprised. I think they do look lovely together. Cuts back to Mayren, she's just pouting right now. No, she's still collapsed on the shore of the lake. Just, we <laughs> haven't- so we just okay. left her there. <laughs> we just left her there to process. And here's what the individual rooms look like. There are other cottages just like this one, so we should be able to accommodate all the servants who came along. It may be worth asking who wishes to stay outdoors, as I'm sure some would prefer to camp out. But first, there's one thing we need to take care of. More Jiang Yu! More Jiang Yu! Why, why, what, what I do to deserve this? What is she doing? Some sort of avant-garde poetry? I'll just say she's, um, going through some stuff. Well, we have to do something about her, but I'm not sure what. Wait, Sigurd, let me handle you, my friend. Yep. Sorry, one second. Really? Are you sure you'll be okay, beloved? I'm sure. As a servant harboring deep feelings of my own, I can understand what she's going through very well. Alright, here goes nothing. Lord Chung Yu. Side note, can I just say there's one thing about Bryn Zerker's design that I love? It's the fact that with her hair up, you get to see more of the fact that her hair is, like, the two-toned. Hmm. True. Because you can't really tell when she has her hair down in her other form. Please get a hold of yourself, you may run. Wait, Brynn, Brynn Hild? I know it hurts to be apart from the one you love, but this current separation is only temporary, not permanent. I'm sure you'll be right at Caldea once the singularity is repaired. I'm also sort of sure that Lord Zhang Yu is waiting anxiously for your return. So the sooner we repair the singular, the sooner you can see him again. In Q back sass in five, four, three, two. Um, what else? So uh, hang in there, okay? I know you can get through this. One! It must be nice for you having Sigurd around! Did she just get whiter than that image, or is it just me? Yeah, she did! <laughs> she actually got full on, like, stunned. Oh yeah, I just I just saw it in the stream feed. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Medusa's here. What? I am um, well, that, that that's not Hello, Shido. Hey Shido. <clears throat> Not only that, you get to wear a swimsuit around him and have him compliment you on it. Must be nice. Must be real nice. Hey, which where the heck is Medusa swimsuit? Be honest, you're super happy right now, aren't you? Three, two, one. <laughs> not helping Bryn! Not helping Bryn! You're really not. <laughs> Oh, well, good for you! Well, that didn't accomplish anything. I, I'm i not sure Yumi Ren's gonna be much help anymore. I'm sorry, I tried, but to no avail. Maybe we should have brought someone else along instead. 
If it's all the same to you, Master, I think I'll refrain from commenting. Hmm? Some kind of commotion outside. Is there? Well, let's go check it out. Uh, Jim, I think this is still you. Yeah. Oh, hey, Master. You got here sooner than I thought. Hey, cool. Thanks for getting things ready for us. No problem. Anything I can do to make your life easier? It's an investigative mission, huh? Hell of a way to spend summer break. Anyway, you picked a good time to show up. I've been setting up some things to keep the wildlife away, but there still seems to be some wild dogs around that will preserve if it's some kind of curse. You guys are all going to spend the night here, right? How yeah, about getting in a little exercise while you get to know your way around? Oh, don't worry about fighting yourself, you girl. Just keep an eye... Just keep an eye on... Just keep an eye one... That, that's that gotta be an error. Keep an, an eye, eye on... one thing from that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the, 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 it's yeah. gotta be an error. That's a, I'm pretty sure that's a typo right there. <laughs> Just keep an eye on things from the sidelines. You can see we've got plenty of firepower to go around, so why don't you just get back and relax for a change? I'm sorry about that, Master. My, uh, I, 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 they, they not only did they skip me, skip out of my Hawaiian shirt this year again, but they also made me have a typo. Uh, okay, thank you. Also, Ku, I'm sorry you didn't get your shirt. All right, everyone, good luck with the battle. Even though she's not fighting, she still gets the last word in. <laughs> All right. Oh, why, why does that coup suck? <laughs> All right, well, we do have some C's to work with here, so may as well go ahead and get some going. Vent. Uh, let's see. Yeah, this is fine for now. Are you sure? Yeah, one one day we'll get the shirt. One day. <laughs> Ma ma maybe one day we'll also mess. get an actual, like, male summer servant, not summer costume. Still better about that. There are plenty of time limits out there, Mush, but that that doesn't happen to any of them. Hmm. Unfortunately, that is the truth, as wife who sells. Exactly. As Vando can sell, too! It, ha it does, and it has. Believe me, people people in Japan JP have spoken about that. Looks at like Grail Saitos and Oberons, but still. I must say, Oberon uh Dante sold pretty good. To be fair, that was a lot he was like a year one ish. We're talking about like current ish, I guess. Maybe we'll get that one day. One day. And again, if you want me to point at what point of technicalities, you could always look at Summer Canis and Summer Kama. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong, but at the same time, you said one of one of my least favorite servants, so your point is moot to me. Is it just me, or was there something off about that battle? Like what? Never mind. It's nothing. I'm probably just a little off my game. If I may share something. I tried using my runes to examine not just the cottages, but also the land they're built on. And it looks like there's been some kind of curse placed on it. I think we should analyze and perform a counter curse to weaken it as soon as possible. If we trace the spell that was used, we may be able to find out what caused the singularity. Unfortunately... What is it? 
As a former Valkyrie of Valhalla, the Magecraft I know is particular to Scandinavia. So I was able to sense the spell cast of the land. I could not grasp its true nature. Given that, I think it would be best to ask someone more knowledgeable in spells and curses to investigate. I see. Hmm. In that case, Murasaki Shikibu and Tamamo no Mai would probably be our best bets. One of those is here, um, the other isn't. I believe the advanced team already arrived at the cottage, so I'll go look for them there. I'll, I'll come with you. In the meantime, maybe we can get the cottage right for everyone who wants to stay in them? Good idea. Well, thank you, Master. <laughs> Mash is just like perked up, like, hmm? I think this, I think this... this is you. I look up to see endless blue sky. I wonder if the summer is going to be unbearably hot or freezing cold. Mm. And me too. oh, I think it's just the master commenting on her. I mean, what should we do about her now that it seems like all life is drained from her? <laughs> uh... Suffice to say, we have our work cut out for us. Me too. This may take a minute. Hey! You missed a code. And oh, new swimsuit! For Mashu. We just go ahead and get that out of the way or set it for later. I mean, it's up to you. Eh. May as well. Yeah. We just got it. May as well. Yeah, so see what, see, we may as well go ahead and see if we can get it or not. Oh, you yeah. can also get Ezos. And there we go. お気遣いありがとうございます。夏のキャンプ場と聞いて、今回は明るくエネルギッシュに見て楽しくなるような水着を選んでみました。どうですか、先輩？私パワフルでしょうか？ You you look cute, Mash. This 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 she is this is very cute. I really like this one, honestly. Oh, I will show that the shield kind of clashes in a little bit. <laughs> Just a little bit. Also, you could get Izo's costume, which was interesting, but you never use Izo, so that's fine. Enjoying holidays. Or just holiday. Masks have a dehumanizing effect. In ancient times, they transformed people into gods, and, at times, into monsters. Masks can transform commonplace names into false, evil ones, and ordinary people into monsters. We instinctively fear masks. They hide not human men with weapons, but monsters wielding violence and madness in evil measure. I finished putting up the bounded field around the cottages, Master. Well, I should say I finished helping. The casters did all the work. Ironically enough, me being a, a writer here actually made that let me take more time. They said it was a combination of both Eastern Curses and Lord Geronimo's completely separate line of magecraft. So it should be impossible for all but the most powerful spellcasters to break. Jim. I'm afraid we may not be that lucky. Geronimo? I took a look around the forest, and this land's cursed like contamination is quite powerful. It's no wonder we haven't seen any other people. I'm sorry, but whenever I see G-Man, I'm just think I just think about no hard feelings, Mr. Freeman. <laughs> rise and shine, Mr. Freeman. Rise and shine. You gotta do it, you gotta do it right. Rise and shine, Mr. Freeman. Ah. Well, the thing the thing is, like, he, the G-Man has, like, uh, some stutters and pauses he does with his voice. Yeah. yeah. I was trying to go can for I, more of that. 
Can I say, by the way, Jim got to see a visual, my the visual reaction to whatever he does that. I, got, I got it, it twice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he got me twice, you jerk. Nice. Nice. Mm. Both in the same day, too. I would have, honestly, like, Jim, if like, I thought... literally, literally, like, a couple hours Jim, <laughs> after I, each I, other. If I thought about you doing that, I would have asked you to record that. <laughs> or catch mm. it on camera or something. <laughs> anyway. To live here would mean living directly alongside curses. Land contamination, huh? I don't know much about these curses. Can't sense them as well as you can, so I'll take your word for it. Does that mean these cottages are cursed too? Strangely enough, no. In fact, these cottages seem to be the only things here that have escaped the contamination. You call this a curse? The worst this could do is induce a little light hallucination. You may claim to have lived in tune with nature, but you sure don't sound the part. I suppose you've got me there. You're right. I'll see what else I can do. So there. Much as I'd rather not, I'm going to do every single thing. Thing in my power to help you repair the singularity. Just know that the moment it's all wrapped up, I'm going to be heading back home as soon as I possibly can. And from there, you'll literally blow off, blowing off steam. I, I the second one's a pretty funny option. Just as don't well. burn yourself out. You'll end up exploding. <laughs> that is true. What do you think I am? Some kind of ticking time bomb? Yeah, basically. <laughs> Considering how your normal phantasm blew up during almost 80% of your simu simulator fights, yeah, you can't really blame him. <sighs> now, now, you've made your point. I like how both of them have the sweat drop, like... <sighs> Personally, I think it's wonderful that you're so motivated to help. D don't expect too much from me. I'm just gonna do what I have to, nothing more. So, what do we do first? Let's try to get the singular resolved already. Uh, well, I'd say the first order of business is curry. Oh yeah, curry. Of, of course, curry. Yep, yeah, very much makes sense. Mm -hmm. Say what? We decided on these cottages as our base as our base camp, and we finished putting on the bounded field. We've looked in the surrounding area, but so far we don't have any solid leads. That tells us we'll need to settle in for the long haul. So in that case, our first step is to have Chovo take a load off and make sure he's refreshed and ready for what comes next. And Korea is a staple of camping out in Japan, right? Damn Skippy. Anyone can make it as long as you follow the instructions. As long as no one gets too creative with the ingredients, looks at a certain two characters I can mention from Persona 4, it's all but guaranteed to taste good too. I'm about to say it happened in Persona 4 and almost did in Persona 5. The only things you need to be careful about are making sure there's enough for everyone, and that it doesn't contain anything that it shouldn't. Once again, do I need to repeat myself? Serious food X haunts me to this day. <laughs> Luckily, I brought several curry pots, so everyone can make different variants, except for anyone who wants to make Mysterious Food X, because we're not doing that crap here. <laughs> I can't have my little <laughs> sister get a food poisoning. As a mother, I won't allow it. <laughs> I'm sure the vegetarians in particular will appreciate that. Those who are really hungry can even try sampling a bowl from each variety if they want. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying this. Damn straight I am. I mean, if you really want to start searching now, somebody I can go with you, if you really want to. No, it's... Fine, I'm not that heartless. I don't believe you. You guys can eat first. I don't need any curry. I'm just gonna go. First. Also, I'm not gonna lie. Am I the one who's very, who just? I've just noticed this. Am I the one who's a, who's kind of kind of finds that we the way that her shoulders like way up there kind of uncomfortable looking. Like look look at like her, how her shoulder is right here. The one on her her left shoulder. The way just kind of up there. That does well, not look comfortable. Do, she's gotta keep her top up somehow. I know, but it looks very uncomfortable. Hmm. 
you you, you do that thing. I I'm just I'm just gonna go to sleep. Got it. I'll put some aside for you in the fridge. I just, I didn't need any. Just don't try to voice that stuff on me again. I'm just not hungry yet. Are you sure? You haven't left until you tried my, my special clay, my special curry. I don't want your curry. Its stomach just goes. It's Yong Yu's favorite. <laughs> Save me a bowl. I hope we didn't upset her. Nah, she's fine. All right, you are, Master. If she were truly upset, she wouldn't so much as speak to us. Hey. Hang on, could you do me a favor? Could you just, could you just like be like, hey, twink. <laughs> hey, twink. <laughs> now, you know what, you know what I imagine you doing right there? What? What I do to much, just like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey, twink. What? Something wrong, Prince of Longling? No, no, nothing in particular. Not at all. Nope, totally not. Mm -hmm. Whatever. I almost forgot to give you this. A communicator? Oh, hello, Master. What's up? Eggplants! Uh, yeah, it is me. Lord Zhang Yu gave that to me, though I don't know why. There's a lot we need to go over, Mash, but first things first. Were you able to get in touch with Caldea? I'm afraid not. I tried contacting them with my communicator several times, but I just couldn't get through. Well, that sucks. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, it's a real shame. Wait, why are you looking at me when you said that? What do you mean? Did you want to talk to Zhang Yu? Ah, now I see. Now that she knows she can, she's gone into her whatever mood. Well, yeah, but so, so what? Now it's her so what mood. <laughs> May I suggest you face your feelings honestly rather than pout about them, child of the earth? I'm sorry about that too, you may run. I Fine, don't worry about me. Looks like we got a problem on this end. I think I'd better end the call and see, go see what's up. Now that she mentions it, I'm hearing some commotion outside too. Help! Emergency! Uh, what's up? Just to be like, hey, what's up? Are you okay? Do you need like a snack or something? Are you alright? Are you getting enough water? Just take, are you have a fever? I have a water gun for that. Are you straight? I mean, well, I mean, I'm, uh, th wait, wait. That's it! Rogue Servant! There's a Rogue Servant! And it's someone we never expected to run into here! What? Uh -huh. <sighs> Not a what? <sighs> Have fun, White! So, this is the Cray Race, huh? Hmm... I can't remember if I've seen it before or not. Well, there's a first time for everything. Let's see what it tastes like. Mmm, mmm, -hmm. not very sweet, and it makes my tongue tingle. Mmm, it's good? Maybe? Especially the tingle? I'm not sure. Maybe I should try making it sweeter by adding apples and honey. No, 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 on second thought, this is quite nice as it is. Besides, if it's the normal flavor of curry, then I should learn the basics of the, the, place, the basic taste first. It all begins with the basics. A solid foundation to nurture, to nurture talent. Um, are you a rogue servant? Oh, me? Why, yes, I am. Is something wrong, Cello? Do you recognize her or something? Ah, uh, we, we haven't met before, have we? <laughs> No, it doesn't seem we have, unfortunately. Oh, I still need to introduce myself, don't I? I'm Sussy and Lily. Full disclosure, I'm a pretty little rogue servant who's lost both her weight and her memories. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm on your side or not. 
I know you must seem incredibly suspicious, but I still hope you'll call me Pretty Magical Girl Lily. Oh no, there's another one! Ah! Oh, and here's my catchphrase. Sunday morning is the first day of salvation. Does anyone need assistance? And that's my introduction. It's a pleasure to meet you all. <laughs> what a beauty. Can I, can I point out something hilarious about that whole bit with her? You see Ilya pop up on the right side. She's I joining us. She's like, ah! I know. She's, I know. <laughs> I imagine she's realized when the second she hears Magical Girl, she's like, oh no, not another one. What beautiful morality. For a moment, I could have sworn I saw a halo behind her. True, but she does seem to shine like the sun. That can also sit her heart as this big as all outdoors. But it frightens me that a girl so young can exude so much spiritual energy. I can scarcely imagine what kind of training she must have gone through. Why, thank you. It's so nice for you to notice all the effort I put in. How can you be both a lost child and a servant? Oh, well, I do have some place I'm staying right now. But when I looked out the window and saw you all having so much fun, I couldn't help but come out too. Guess she was hanging out in our conjure somewhere then. Mm hmm. I'm hungry and I don't know how to get home, so I thought, back with it, and decided to join your group. Hmm, since we've never seen you before, I guess the singularity must have summoned you here. Sessian, huh? Never heard that name before. Where did you used to be a hero? Oh, I'm no hero. I believe I'm what I, uh, I'm what's called a pseudo servant. I do think I must have some connection to Holy Grail War, since I'm a servant and all. But that's all I know. A pseudo servant, a heroic spirit, <clears throat> who materializes by using a human for a vessel, since they do not so not since they can't do so by conventional means, huh? Well, you wouldn't be the first one of those. Honestly, I'm kind of in the same boat myself. Um, uh, by the way, I'm doing... Please, call me Lily. My other name is just too... ostentatious for my liking. C could you tell me more about what you call yourself? But, um, I'm a magical girl. I'm really... I mean, I'm not kind of... I'm, I'm a little curious. <laughs> You're not gonna <laughs> tell me, are you? Nope. Is anything... In, is anyone in need of assistance? Don't use your strange cast phrase to change the subject! Too late. Never mind that now. What's your true name? If you are a pseudo servant, then the heroic spirit possessing you must have a name. Oh my. What a fiend you are. Trying to pry into a little girl's secrets, are we? <laughs> well, it's important. Just because you're a lost amnesiac child with a halo doesn't mean I'm automatically going to trust you. So that's what was the deal. So what was the deal with that weird pause then, huh? You trying to hide something there, sister complex? Did you say something, Ilya? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I wasn't being put in. Sorry, all the same. Still, it isn't really that big a secret. So sure, I can tell you my true name. As far as I know, my true name is Yabiku... Yao... Bikuni. Yabikuni? Yabikuni. 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 Uh, Yabikuni? I'm sorry, who's Yabikuni? Kuni? Good question. Do you happen to know anything about her, Master? Just a rough outline of her story. Oh, oh, thank goodness. Speaking as a servant, I would have been quite shocked if nobody here had ever heard of me. Hmm. Do you have any memories of being Yab Yabakuni, Lily? No, none. I don't know if they're just shy or if my servant power is just too weak to recall them. But I don't have any memories at all from when I was still alive. Then what about that body you're using? Do you have any ma any of that Sessian girl's memories? No, none of hers either. I woke up and found myself here. That's all I can remember. I see. That seems like a lot to deal with. Um, are you okay, Lily? Thank you for your concern, but don't worry. I'm alright. 
Regardless of what may have happened in my past, the important thing is that I'm here now. As long as I can recognize myself, all I have to do is reach an understanding with everyone else. Hmm. I could be getting a little too philosophical here. Maybe I just never had much in the way of life goals to begin with? Maybe you once swore an unbreakable oath that still holds, regardless of what may lie in your past or future. Since you're a nun that once ate mermaid flesh, I guess you're most likely a caster. Yes, that is correct. For the moment, I can at least manage a few light charms. But I'm afraid I might not be very helpful beyond that. I don't suppose you know anything about the singularity, do you? Why, yes, I do. Like what? Like... I'd be glad to tell you, but first... Would it be okay if I had some more curry? Uh, sure thing. Wanna eat together? Oh, thank you so much! You're all too kind. Mm hmm? <gasps> hmm? What is it, Ilya? Are you thinking something along the lines of... Uh-oh, she and I have a lot in common, don't we? Does this mean I have a rival now? I quit reading my mind! Too bad. That's pretty easy. You're kind of an open book, Ilya. I am gonna throw you into a wood chipper, you stupid wand! You already tried that before once! It didn't work! <laughs> hmm. <gasps> I see. Interesting. <laughs> Oh, Master, would you be so kind as to show me around the cottage? Now she's even on the prowl! Hmm, forget rival. We might just be looking at your final boss over here. All right, that, now that's settled. I think it's best we get back to investigation. I try to get back before nightfall if you can. Oh, and why is that, small child? Because, Mr. Twink, this mountain gets really dangerous at night. But what? why is the child calling me a twink? There are beasts and demons and other kinds of scary things that only show up here. But above all, there's a rule out there uh, on this mountain that nobody can break. And what kind of rule would that be? It's very simple. Never go out at night by yourself. On the surface, that seems like common sense, but I get the feeling there's more to it than that. It's up to you whether you believe it or not, but personally, I hope you will. The curry was very yummy, so telling you about the dangers here and the least, is the least I can do to repay you for it. Hmm. What would you have me do, Master? Let's call up the investigation, at least for today. Understood. Then I'll go ahead and pass your orders on to the other servants who showed up here. Hmm. I don't know. There's a lot of headstrong servants out there. And there's no guarantee they'll listen. I'm glad you're so wise, Master. And that everyone else is so understanding. This is just how dec decisions like this should go. After all, even though most of you are servants, you still don't actually want to actually die. Right? Oh, look at that. There's a first copy of you. いっておくけど、この姿は浮かれたからじゃないわ。私が夏を満喫。王様が望んだから。つまり愛ゆえの水と。Any or Yes, because I still don't have Castor. Or Toria Castor. I'd probably say I mean, just go for Castoria if you, if you don't have like any good... Uh, what, do you have any... Do you have any support casters on you? I have all of... Well, aside from Artoria, I have all of the big five. Uh, so do you have any you like major... Will. Do you have any major arts loopers on you? He has to mom no, but she's not really a looper though. I'm talking like AoE arts loopers. Da Vinci Rider, Ishtar, Space Ishtar, uh, uh Mimoto Masashi. Space Ishtar? 
Yeah, I have spacious charge. She's not level. Hmm. I'd say if you if you if you if you if you end up leveling a uh, space star, Castor would definitely be a good like pick because they they work really well together for looping. Uh, also, you if you alternatively, what's up? And you said Summer Musashi. Summer Musashi is also one too. Okay, she's at level fifty six. Alternatively, if you wanted to be like just really like if you want to just go for like the full on meme, right? You could just go with the like you could just give her to, you just go for Castor and just give her to Chen Gong to play with. <laughs> Be nice to your support casters. You do realize that anybody who uses Chen Gong is never nice to their support casters, right? I'm nice to my support casters because I don't use Chen Gong. Nor do I have any plans to. Oh wow, there's a beach here. It even looks safe enough for me to go swimming. I'm so happy I have my swimsuit now. Next time, I'll have to remember to bring you along a floaty ring too. Looks like Lily's out playing by the water. Oh, hi, Mr. Master. I was surprised to see you out here for a walk by yourself. What happened to the strategy meeting you and the uh, servants were holding back, ho holding back in the cottage? Uh, I'm just taking a little break. Oh, I see. Well, I can certainly understand that. It's a very pretty lake, after all. You could take a boat out, but there's some there's some nice shallows too if you want to go play in the water. You could even come down here with a special swimsuit someone. <laughs> you could swim together, splash each other, lounge around in big floaty rings, go diving. If you do those sorts of coupley things, I think you'll find this lake can be quite wonderful. Uh, wanna hang out for a while? Oh my, you're going after me first? Even though we only just met? Hmm... I'm honored, but I don't think I'm ready for that sort of thing just yet. Also, I think I hear sirens going off. So I think I'll have to take a, a rain check on that for now. <laughs> Since I'm technically Lady y Yabikuni, I'll have my own important work to do, you know. I may not remember much, but I have been on this mountain longer than the rest of you. So I found a lot of things in the, in the course of my exploration so far. Right now, I'm sorting them out all in a proper inventory I can use to set, set up a lovely training post. Where you and your servants can come get rewards for all your hard work. I may not be able to help you fight, but I at least can still do this, right? So you want to help, but you won't do it <clears throat> for free, right? I'm sorry, I wish I could, but I already put all my magical energy into helping a certain someone's independent action. So I hope you don't mind if I ask you to scratch my back before I scratch yours. Anyway, on a different subject, there's something I wanted to ask you, Mr. Master. I know you and your friends all have a lot on your plate right now, but if you happen to find any other people in need of assistance, could I ask you to let me know? I may not even remember my own name, but I still want to help others however I can. You know how some Buddhist monks make vows to save all living things? Well, that's what I aspire to do, too. To put it another way? Sunday morning is the first day of salvation. Is anyone in need of assistance? That's my magical girl catchphrase, and I try to live up to it every day. Oh, hey, Lei Yovakini Yob was a great Buddhist priestess, so... Indeed. I don't know much of it... Of the, I don't know how much of this is her influence. But that's certainly the kind of girl I would like to be. I can just barely remember when I, I used to be very sickly, and not at all cut out for walking around on a swimsuit like this. But now that I'm feeling much better thanks to my magical compact... Contract, I'm pretty sure. Or compact. Compact. I can save as many people as, need, as I need saving. Oh, would you like to see my secret weapon for yourself, Master? They have to promise to keep it a secret. Ooh. Mm. Wow, that really is like something a magical would have. Right? It's my greatest treasure. When I was stuck in bed, the only things I had to look forward to were playing seashell uh, concentration, uh, Kai Awa Awase, and reading big picture books. But now I can run around like this, like any other magical, magical girl my age. Ah, master, look out! There are giant chicken chickens behind you. I have to imagine they were genetically modified or 
something. How'd they get from here all the way to the Wawa? Not again! Send Master flying, you're even willing to turn your beak on an innocent little girl, huh? What? Irredeemably vicious monsters. They don't deserve mercy. Fortunately, it's like none it's well, looks like none other than the other servants are around at the moment, so I think I'll let my grown-up self handle this. A sort of preview of coming attractions. <laughs> Illusion, enchantment, punishment, flights, fluffy, jingly. Jangly, hear my call, Bubble Gauge Compact, and use your mermaid powers to turn me back into my grown-up self. Yes, much better. You have no goddamn idea how good that feels. It is I, Sissy and Kira Yabakuni, making my... Secret debut. Well, I do know it's unbecoming of a proper lady like myself to do battle in a bikini. It's only right to help others after one has been helped. So until Lord Shova makes his way back up from the from the lake, I will have to see to punishing you for your misdeeds. By the time I'm done, you'll all be feeling as raw and exposed as fleshly peeled shellacks. Hi, Kiara. Let's just say, goddamn spooks. Who, who'd, you, who'd you get spooked by now? Falks. Whatever's wrong, master. <laughs> I can think of a hundred things wrong, and 99% of them are you. If this is wrong, I don't want to be right. God damn it! <laughs> Sawaka, Sawaka. Hey, Lightspeed. Hi, Lightspeed. Speed. So the whole gimmick, or for those that aren't familiar with Kiara, or how Sir Kiara works, is basically her first skill. Basically, her first skill has a bunch of different effects, but the main draw behind it is it gives her these little, like, mermaid stacks. And the stacks themselves are used to upgrade the effectiveness of her other two skills. So, basically, you see, like, the little, like, uh, ring icons over here? Whenever you have a couple of those on you, you can turn, you can power up your other skill effects. So, I believe the max, uh, for example, for this skill, I believe the MP gauge effect is like normally 20 to 30 percent, but if you have two stacks on you, it goes to 50 percent at max level. Jeez. Also, I believe it, it's like a 15 star dump originally, but I believe with the full maxed out with two stacks, it's 30 stars. Good God. That still doesn't make me want her though. I, I, I am not a fan of horny servant go burr. But, Master, horny servants don't go burr, they go, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Why, you had approximately too much fun doing that! <laughs> you had approximately too much fun. Oh, you know it. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I do not want Kiara, Lily. I do not want Kiara, period. She falls under a specific category of servants of, I don't want this. <laughs> I don't want this at all. Uh... And...
And back to my other self. <sighs> Aw, my transformation wore off. I can remember everything isn't my adult self, but then I forget everything again when I go back to being little me. That's why I'll never be able to fight like this, no matter how many times I have to go with Spirit Origin Ascension. It has nothing to do with getting a new outfit, either. So if you want to see me as Lily, you'll just have to make up your way down to my little shop. Translation? Deal with it. No costume for you. All the ways to get knocked into a break. <laughs> oh, yes, I'm fine. Thank you for asking, Master. I'm not entirely sure what happened, but it seemed like those chickens just disappeared like mirages or something. I guess the power of my magical compact must have made them go away. It just goes to show that taking life is never the answer. Even those bio chickens have at least half a soul. That said, there may still be other chickens like that around here. This mountain has no shortage of strangeness. Night Honestly, Izo. night Izo. Night Izo. And since it's not safe around here without an escort, I think we should head back to the cottage. Let this be a lesson to you the next time you're tempted to go out on your own, Mr. Master. Something tells me I missed something really horny. What is horny, Master? Don't worry about it, Lily. Hmm. We have a couple of servants in Caldea that that are of that particular name. Hey, Wilder. They have horns. I mean, you say that, but you say that, but her third ascension and her alter ego variant has the has horns. So, and I mean, by technicalities, her little buns do kind of look like horns. Eh, a little bit. Also, also looks at Snake Lady. Mm -hmm. Also, wild and what's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? Now that we have three people here, we can do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's true. Uh, <laughs> all right, we unlocked all the we unlocked a bunch of missions. Cool. Okay, well, now that that's ready to go, let's go ahead and get started on getting some missions together so we can get going with uh, the you know story stuff. Let's see. Right, I gotta fix this nonsense. Alright, let's go. Time to get to work. On those mission, on that mission grind. See you, Nightwing. Good night, Nightwing. Wing. What, what did you do? Is it what I think it is? Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, I need to watch. I need to get to that at some point. <laughs> Haven't needed English. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't even think about it. Jim, when getting a story, you do not have any of the luck. You, you just get spooked. I know. It's almost like I'm having fucking melt luck again. <laughs> oh no. Not again. Not the melt luck. Oh yeah, there is another character that's also go well with her. Uh, Lancer melt. <laughs> I do have her, although I do need to level her up. Oh yeah, that that's hilarious. Uh, we we do need to watch uh, the next episode of of uh, so three. Gra yeah, technically episode three of the Grand uh, Carnival, because good God, it's great. A lot of time, perhaps. I mean, we could always do it after stream. It's not that long of an episode. Come on. 
I get so annoying. <laughs> My name is. As we go rolling her half awake. That was me rolling. That was me with my Oberon roll when I first when I first got him. When he first popped up in JP. I got him at like four in the morning. And like, yep, yeah, this seems about accurate. Yeah, we also got Kiara earlier in the stream too. I'm gonna start from driving back home. Oh, Jim, I just remembered a funny thing that happened at Con. That I, I think we can say on stream. So we met a fellow FGO player at Con. Oh uh, yeah! <laughs> did you? <laughs> yes, we did. <laughs> it was hilarious because he, the only reason this guy knew that we were playing FGO is because I was doing some account grinding as we were at, at the board game table. <laughs> yeah, it, it's great. It's that, that's awesome. <laughs> that's awesome. And he just happened to be walking past. That that is awesome. I I think me and Jim made a new friend that day. Friends. Friendo. Friendo. Oh, Jim, I should have asked for his friend code. Damn it. Damn it. I didn't we think might about can, it. If he's there next year, we Maybe. might can get it then. Yes. Maybe if you run into them again. I mean. It's very likely because the convention is, as the kids say, small. Like yeah, this year. This year, apparently, this had year, a low, low turnout. Yeah, like less than a hundred people. That's how small it is. Uh. And that is counting the staff. Damn. Chana. A lot of people who take the same train as me to work, to work play FGO. Pretty cool. Nice. To be fair, this game has a lot. Uh, I'm pretty sure it has a pretty big player base. So I'm, uh, that, I don't think it's uncommon to run into. Not, not too uncommon to really run into people that play as well. I feel like it anyway. I mean, this game, make, with how much money this game makes, you you think there would at least be. A, at least you run into at least a few people in a, every once in a while. I, I mean, to be fair, we did just. We, we are gonna have night. Uh, Literally after Oku is 18 million downloads. So there's 18 million NA players. Well, to be least. fair, to be fair, that's that that that's just them tracking like like tracking the uh, JP. That, I'm pretty sure. From where I live, you need a VPN to download the game. Ah. Anyway. Oh, also, Jim, I, I let the auto farmer go burr again. Oh God! I I, I checked back it. I like I started it when I got to work that day, and then after my first break, I had nine hundred of the uh, locks. Christ! Mm. I was able to almost buy out all of the embers, buy the uh, shop CE, and get Emmy's costume. Christ! That's it. Oh, speaking of which, hey Jim, uh, you weren't there when I was showing. I was talking about uh, earlier. But would you like to see what I, what, what my uh, the sun Saturday stream was more or less amounted to? Sure. I will be right back. Let me go ahead and just put it back on screen for a second because I didn't have it open up still. So give me one second while I uh, get that set up. Oh, whoops. Uh, I'm going to put that back on for just a second. A oh, nice while. Let me just turn that off. I'm going to show you this screen. This took six hours, by the way. What you're about to see took six hours of work. Where the frick is she? There she is. Give me a sec. There we go. Nice. Oh yeah, I remember Mush saying that you were doing that. Yeah, this this took a while. 
Uh, and the thing is, I'm still not done because I need more. I, I don't think I'm stopping right now as, as coins. And I, I still need more coins. That's too bad. Yeah. I needed, like... I, I figured that since there was, like, the whole success rate bonus going on at the time, I, I needed to get a head start. And, by the way, would you like to know the amount of experience it requires to get from level 100 to, to go past level 100? Yes. So, from what I would well, understand... No, no, the amount of experience is yes. Yeah, but... I tell you right now, so the amount of experience to get from level 100 to 101, and this, and this applies to every level beyond 100, beyond 100, by the way, is the equivalent of getting a character from level one to 100. Jesus. And Fuck that Christ. is for every level past 100. Good God. You need millions of experience just to get one level. It's it's ridiculous. Jesus I, Christ! A level one twenty King Hassan and a level one twenty Merlin. So when someone is one twenty, it's honestly pretty impressive. <laughs> yeah, because you could have leveled up to another what twenty servants to level one hundred. Uh, 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 so that's that's forty. That's forty. That's what? Two. Well, here's the thing. You, you 400 need... levels of XP that that guy had. You need a bunch of... Q you need the QP, first of all, and then you need the experience cards, and then you need the coins for the corresponding character. Part of the reason why I'm, why, I'm doing, why I'm using Ushi for this is because, as much as I would love to do it for Nero, trying to get grind coins for a, a gold servant is... Uh, to put it bluntly... Not easy. No. <laughs> Not easy unless they're on raid up. Not easy unless they're on raid up, and you also just really want to work on the servant. And Nero, in Nero's case, it'd be easier because apparently story lodge gold servants get more coins than 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 uh, gold general pool servants. It's fun. Although it is understandable because they have to specifically be on raid up. Yeah, higher rarity characters are, or characters that are typically harder to like, or are more rare, I guess get more coins. Five stars, no matter what, get 90 coins. For, like, copy. Yeah. Limited four stars get 50 coins. General pool, gold servants get 30. For copy. That's not too bad. Uh, and you also can get coins by, um, from bond levels as well. Yeah. Yeah, so there's that too. Now... Unfortunately, because of how they did it originally, we couldn't, we didn't get any coins from, we didn't get any retroactive coins from like, both pulling copies from any of the lower ready characters, so I have to, I have to start with like, a release from scratch, essentially. By like, rolling more copies of her to get more coins. Because at that point, all I had were her bond coins. Oh, uh, I be oh, sorry. My bad. Yeah, I believe uh, Silver Servants are 15 coins per copy. Sounds right. Yeah. As for 1 and 2 stars, I have no idea. I'm pretty sure it's like 3 or something for yeah, 1 star. It's probably, like, it's probably like 5 and 10. Yeah, it's like... I mean, they're pretty common, so you'll get a lot of you'll get a lot of coins out of it, like from quantity, from like the amount you'll summon of them. But it, it still takes a bit of time to get them, to get the coins you need for them. But yeah, Ush, my my goal with my main account is to get her, is to get Ushi to 120, so I have at least one with that's 120. And if I don't get her any further, like in the past couple months, I do know for a fact that she can get two raid ups next year. One from the Tengu event and the other from the Idol event. So I'll have a chance to like get more fish for copies for coins later if I need to. Yeah. Alright. Hey. And back. Let me back.
Yeah. But yeah, the convention was fun. The only thing I didn't like about it was all of the rain and then the sudden monsoon that was there. Yeah, Aren't yeah. It? Saturday yeah. was not a good day. Saturday was a, not a good day at all. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, what? Yeah, yeah. no, there was, there was, there was a, such a bad rain that it was basically like a monsoon. Like, like, it yeah, was perfectly it was, fine. It was straight up, like, sudden... hurricane-type rains. Jesus Christ. Granted, that... Granted, the heavy rain only lasted for, like, an hour, and then it was... Then it kind of tapered off to a drizzle. Yeah, but, but it wasn't, still... It wasn't fun having to run back into the room to grab switches. Yeah, I mean, at least we didn't have to go all the way up to the, to the fucking board game program. Yeah, that's true. I believe it was Pyro that made that trip. Yeah... Yeah, she did have to make that trip. It was that fun, <laughs> from what she said. Uh, one, one of the, uh... Funny enough, one of my friends that I... that Jim and Nova met down there. I was gonna say, Pyro from Xenoblade? What is she doing there? Yeah, no, we casually had a group of 11 people. Starting out, starting out for, uh, um, actually, we had, we literally had, like, 70% of the crowd as us. <laughs> yeah, our group. yeah, it was kind of sad, honestly. People, people started trickling in, though. I don't care what you, what anyone says, though, much the crowd won um, actually. Yeah, the crowd really did win. <laughs> I, I ended up getting two um, actually, just right. Because, uh, yeah, it was, there, there was, it was there like was in a... season two, it was like in season two of the original Power Rangers, Tommy, the, the Green Ranger summons the, uh, the Dragon Sword with his flute. And it was, um, actually, he summons the White Tiger Sword. Aya! Aya! After, after, by the way, I looked it up on the Power Rangers wiki. <laughs> well, at the at the very least, I knew it was the white. I knew he was the white ranger at that point. Mm -hmm. And All then right. the other one was, uh, it was talking about the Hobbit, which I had literally listened to the day before and on the way up there. So this yeah, is it, it's like it's just like out of pure fucking coincidence. But which, by the way, it's like the second the guy said this question is about the hobbit i have never seen jim set up more straight in my entire life he was like <laughs> to be fair you've never seen me sit up straight in my entire life <laughs> that was our first time meeting i know but it's just like the uh <laughs> anyway so this is one of the gimmicks of the of uh the summer five event day night system more or less basically certain main quests will change it to for the, the night the, the map from day to night this is mostly relevant for just, like, doing some quests early on, but at the end of the event, it really shouldn't matter that much. So we're just gonna go ahead and just do it now. That's pretty cute music for what happens. Give it a, give it a moment. And so, far, far away, another summer night came and went. Was the fatal mistake in making the decision? Or did it all begin when we ran into her? Summer means mountains. Mountains mean camping. And in Japan, camping means curry. Yes, it's perfect. Ah. Hi, Thrud. I uh, believe... White uh, is third? Yep, white is third. I'm afraid I have no idea what's perfect about it, Sigurd. There's more to meals than just eating things for sustenance. The surrounding environment is also important. There's a huge difference, difference in happiness between eating all by oneself solely to acquire nutrients and eating curry amongst friends while laughing and enjoying their company. As members of Caldea's advanced team, it is time you learn this lesson. 
Spending time with friends and family in this manner is one of the best parts of camping, of camping, my sisters. Last I checked, we weren't your sisters. Though I will admit the curry is delicious. Oh, it looks like I'm all out. I think I'll go back for seconds. Mm -hmm. Here, beloved. I served this curry up just for you. Please have it. Nothing would have made me happier. Uh oh. Hey, yes, I know she was still hungry. And I know she was too embarrassed to take another helping on her own. But that doesn't mean you can casually hand her more like that. Then I guess it wasn't very casual at all, was it? She looks so happy. She's blushing. You can see exactly what she's feeling. Okay, okay. Three, Three two, one. She's beautiful. beautiful. <laughs> oh my, what a wonderful sight. It warms my heart to see how much you all love Mr. Sigurd. Three, two, one. We don't we love, love him. him. We, we hate, hate him. him. <sighs> Wait, no, we don't mean it like that. Not at all. We'll always love you, sister. It's just that, um... <laughs> it's all right, my beloved Brynhild. It's completely understandable that your adoring sisters will bear some ill will on the one who they see as having stolen you from them. Rest assured that it doesn't bother me. I'm quite sure that one day they'll come to understand the bond we share. <laughs> God damn it, Sigurd! <laughs> Why you? <laughs> What is she barking? Uh, okay, easy does it. There's no need to fight. Uh, stop with the barking. They're not dogs. <laughs> right. Why were you barking? Here, I want in addition to curry, we also have meat for those who like some. Oh, I would. Is this mermaid meat? Uh, no, it isn't. I see. Oh, well, I guess it would be pretty hard to catch mermaids up here in the mountains. Would you like some more curry too, Senpai? Oh, I'd love some. I'm actually, really hung I'm actually kind of hungry right now. What an appetite, appetite you have. You know, I've always admired strong and healthy people. Anyway, what did you say your group's name was? Caldea? Mm -hmm. I must say, you Caldean servants are all, are so good at cooking. Your food And your food is so just as nutritious as it is yummy. I only wish he cared about meals as much as you all do. He? Oops, just a bit of sea foam up there. In the mountains, pretend I didn't say anything. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. It's like that. It's almost nighttime. If what Sissy and Lily said is right, we should probably retire to the cottage until tomorrow. Yes, we suppose we should. Wonder if there's anything we can watch on the TV. Watch oh, got a little jacket on. That's cute. Aww. Let me try to find a channel over there, but all I got was the static black in my picture. I think that means there's nothing on the air right now. Either that or we may be out of range of any television signals out here. I mean, that does make sense. Then I guess that's a waste of good TV. Um. Oh, I haven't gotten this far. I wouldn't know either. Let's just, is, is that, who, who dis? Oh, hey! hi, Tamari! Okay, hey, God, can we do the line? Eat server! <laughs> I mean. Not at all. There are many other good ways to use a television. Hello, Master. Uh, my apologies for the delay in getting here. Uh, unfortunately, it took longer to finish fine-tuning this new spirit origin than I anticipated. But never mind that, as I say, there are other ways to use a television. You mean... Video hey, games! Don't you, Toy? I do indeed, Lady Mash. As we have little else to join the moment, why not take this time to enjoy some video games? Yes, please! Don't worry, I brought plenty of controllers to go around. Yes! Wait, hold on, is there a game controller mixed in there? Yes. Perfect. It's the only way to play Smash, after all. This will be a lovely way for all of us to pass the time together. 
I brought as many of my games as I could, so we'll have plenty to choose from. Oh, some of them are fairly competitive effects, some of them involve chaotic, bloody battlefields. Um, but before you not, no matter what happens in the game, you are in no real danger. That doesn't sound like uh, the way to pass the time to me. Ah, uh, yes. A chaotic, bloody battlefield. Sounds like my kind of game. <laughs> there you go, Jim. Yes, this could be the best option for all of us to enjoy the time we're about to spend together. P pray tell. Uh, I, I was gonna like say like, pray tell. Is there a game about cards in there somewhere? And did one of them involve you summoning a giant blue dragon? <laughs> uh, yes, actually. Now come, let's go have some fun. Yeah. Freaking <laughs> <laughs> you. You goddammit. <laughs> I am going to kick all of your asses. <gasps> oh, sorry. Oh, oh, oh no, oh. you don't. Hang on! <laughs> Have mercy! It's too late for that, Kohai. Have another kick to the face! That was knocked out of the ring. So managed to hold on. The only just. Forgive me, Lord Sigurd, but I must make use of your head. Are they? Are they actually playing Smash? <laughs> are they actually playing Smash? This sounds like they're playing Smash. <laughs> they just a platform. Now I can basically lay you may run one on one. Here I come. Sorry, to my light time's up, and since I got way more HP than you, looks like I'm the winner. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Nope, no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold it, hold everything. Screen capping that right now. That face! That face! <laughs> there we go. Save that. Perfect. No! That is beautiful. I love it. That was no match for her whatsoever. I couldn't do a thing against her. Just goes to show how the strong often stand alone, Kohai. Most impressively, you may read. You are as beautiful as you are strong. Alright, it's getting late. I'm going to bed. Make sure you're already start investigating the hell of this place tomorrow. Got it. Rude. I suppose we should call it a day. Um, is it okay if I spend the night here too? Of course, Lily. We've already got a private room set up for you. Oh, uh, thank you. Okay, then. Good night, everyone. Sweet dreams. Senpai, why did I just get a shiver down my spine when she said that? Don't worry about it. <laughs> Change your room day to night. As you progress through the story in this event, the map will switch between day and night. Different enemies will appear in the same locations based on time of day. If you switch between day and night once you have cleared the main quest. All right, so let's start with the uh, start looking. Oh, that's uh, it's about time. Get... Wait, hold on, hold on. Just... Spooky. Yeah, we get different ones for day and night. <laughs> Who would this be? Hmm. This will not stand. Truth, dreams, love, madness. If the heart can feel them, they may as well be real. <laughs> it is beyond foolish to try and separate the ordinary from the abnormal only when convenient. It's all equally true! So from here on, you'll be entering a world of terror, fear, and utter despair. Please don't let this dream remain a dream. Huh. The Midnight Channel! <laughs> oh no. Not the TV world again! You just... Whose channel is this? <laughs> oh. I think I just heard something. Eh, it's probably just Mash trying to get a snack or something. I'll check anyway. Oh, it's you. I'm guessing you heard that sound just now, too? Mm -hmm. 
Yes, we can rule out an, ath an authority hallucination. Auditory hallucination. Keep your guard up and be ready to fight. Yep. Once we go get the others. Master? Lord Emia? Murasaki, good timing. I'm afraid we need to investigate outside the bounded field for a little... Huh? Night's Feature is a slasher film. Uh... Oh... A mysterious murder appears during a full moon. Their name? Phantom. Is it possible to kill that which cannot die? Nope! They're immortal. Good children are all safe. But bad grown-ups are doomed to die. Careful. End of preview. I feel like I should make those just for the added creepy factor. Oh, um, Jim, Jim, next politely, time, next, next respectively. Time, next time. Next time. No. Next time. Next time. All right. Jim, Jim what, no. Okay. What the hell was that? I guess it was some sort of movie trailer. Although there wasn't any moving pictures, just some words and the sound of a child laughing. Not to mention that even if the TV did get reception, there wouldn't be any programs at this hour. What? So you are the one making that noise! That's really tough. What the hell are these things? I don't know, but they're definitely far more durable than regular people. Oh Ew, great, there's more hardest. of them! Master, I thought heard something. Yeah, what's going on? <laughs> That's a face. <laughs> Stand back, Lady Ilya. I'll make a huge mess if we fight here in the living room. Come on, ma come on, Master. Let's take this outside. Oh my! Even at a time like this, he's still thinking about keeping a clean house. He really is a housewife. Ruby. <laughs> That's Armia. Way to go, Guardian of the Kitchen. Is that really the time to be scaling down my domain? <laughs> <laughs> Unlimited kitchen works. Unlimited not, kitchen it's knives. Nothing but, yeah, I was about to say it's nothing but like cutting boards and kitchen knives of various <laughs> shapes and sizes. Right. Obviously, you know, you gotta have your fillet, you gotta have your butcher cleaver, you gotta have no, your steak. No, knife. no, you know what it is, Jim? Do you do you know the opening to kitchen nightmares? Where Gordon Ramsay is sharpening the knives and then just a whole bunch get thrown. That's what it is. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I can kind of see that. Yeah. And then obviously, you know, and he's got to have that one rusty butter knife to threaten people with. <laughs> so I swear to God, if you keep doing that, I'm going to cut you with a rusty butter knife. Seems like a thing that uh, both Amia or Benny would do. Oh, not now that you mention it, I feel like that would be much more on par with Benny. Ilya, I, I love Summer Ilya. She's kind of, she's kind of cute. Prisma Smash Rainbow. What's the fucking ending of that video? <laughs> I think we got the funny line first. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Walling's here apparently. Good to know. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Emma, Emma, Emma. 
Too many Umas. So many Umas. Oh god, they're everywhere! I mean, it was more, I think at that point it was more like uh, Ilya being everywhere, but whatever. I mean, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Yeah, it should be fine. We should be good here. HA! Yeah! Got you! Ruby! Yeah, yeah, on it. Searching. No enemies detected. You did it! Yeah! Jeez, that was a handful. Thanks for helping us out, Prince of Lonling. Not at all. I'm only sorry I couldn't get here sooner, Master. Thanks, Logling. <laughs> Not a problem. Still, those guys were a lot stronger than any ordinary human. Even more than I expected. Huh? And they disappeared. Okay, what's going on? <laughs> Did they just dissolve? They might have some sort of spell. Shikigami, maybe? They certainly didn't believe, behave like ordinary people. They didn't leave their masks and outfits behind. Maybe it's worth examining them more closely. Hmm? Oh. <laughs> Phantom of the Opera? <laughs> I guess this means he's an enemy servant here. Well, if he wants to fight, I don't see any reason to hold back. Looks like we've got another battle on our hands. Be careful, Master! Roger that! Christine. 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 You know, I was I was going to say, I wonder what, what it would look like if they gave Rue a summer outfit. But at the same time. Wait, who was I don't think outfit? she Yeah, I don't think she can wear any less clothes. Wait, who's summer outfit? Oh, oh. Night bright. Oh, okay. Woo. I kept, doing Roo, I kept doing Roo for some reason, like, Roo? But yeah, I would say, I wonder what a, a, like a, a swimsuit outfit on her would look like, but at the same time, I don't think she can wear it in this place. No, I think, no, no. I'm about to say, hey Jim, can I direct your attention to Jack the Ripper? And the possibility of her getting a summer outfit. Her summer outfit would probably be something along the lines of Abby's. Which would just be adorable. I just had the unpleasant of idea of fucking Ruby just sneezing on enemies, and that's what the water is. <laughs> <laughs> and what makes you think that's not what I'm doing? Ha! Dog! Oh, is he this strong? He's overpowering me even with Master's assistance. Is this the end of the twink? It really might be the end. Hang in there, Prince of Lonling. I'm sorry, but this is gonna hurt. Master, follow my lead. This one! Emergency evade! You're safe. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry for getting so rough. I did my best to hold back, but I still had to use minimal phantasm at point blank range. Why don't you take a break and catch your breath? But what about. Yeah, I know. We still haven't solved the problem yet. How is this phantom so tough? 
Uh, maybe he's maybe he's a different fan from 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 the one at Caldea. Maybe he's like from a different one or something, like the one from like Ventus's uh, Caldea, maybe. Oh God, this is Ventus's uh, Phantom. We're screwed. No, it's not that. This is this doesn't look good. Everyone, quick, get back inside the cottage. The cottage? You sure? I know we're going nowhere fast like this, but this isn't just going to be easy for him to pin us down indoors. It's not that. We'll never be able to defeat him unless we can figure out what's happening. Now, please, hurry! Christine. Oh, Why must you leave me, my Christine? Hmm, the fight depending on the choice you make during the scenario. In addition, you will form a party immediately before the battle. Okay, go. Oh, boy. We haven't had one of these in a while. Yeah. Wait a minute. The Masked Killers. Trace on! Okay, the drunk I just predicted against the door should hold for a little while, but it won't be long enough. Christine! The science of social listeners! I should not get that phantom's monstrous strength. That's alright. If my reading of the situation is correct, it'll take him some time to reach us. He starts pounding on the door? I would do that. Do you have any, some idea of what's going on here, Murasaki? I can't yet say anything for certain. Right now, I'm just guessing, really. As you know, this Lord Phantom we just fought was both po impossibly strong and incredibly durable. Yeah, yes, he he was. It felt as though he, we were up against a servant straight out of mythology. I suddenly can't remember Lord Phantom ever fighting like that in the time I've been in Caldea. Or at all, for that matter. Me, ni me neither. He's always fought true to his assassin nature, seeking to mess with people's mind before quickly closing in for a single fatal strike. But this? Charging in headlong regardless of da damage he takes? Trying to simply overwhelm us with raw strength? A real Phantom would never do that. It's simply not how he operates. Indeed. Watching him fight just now... was like watching the killer from a slasher movie. Huh. Huh? Remember when the TV turned on by itself and played that strange trailer? It did? It did. That happened. You weren't there. Huh. And you think it's relevant somehow? I do. In fact, I think that trailer may have been speaking speak mm. speaking to this very situation. Oh, it's just going. Tonight's not a full moon. No, it wasn't. And yet when I looked up at the night sky earlier, I saw that what should have been a crescent moon had become a full moon. My suspicion is that the moon became full because the slasher showed up. So you think this phantom is the slasher the trailer mentioned? I do. This next part gets gets into even even bolder suspicion, suspicion than my part. But I think stepping into the singularity has put us in, well, a horror movie. Huh? Huh? What? Say what? I'm so embarrassed saying that out loud. I, uh, this is exactly why I was so hesitant to bring this up. Huh. Who this? Oh, Lily. Don't be. You're exactly right. Lily! That's me. You're making so much noise, you woke me up. You shouldn't stay up Sorry so late, that. you know. What's up? Uh, I was just apologizing to Lily for waking her up. <laughs> Getting back on track, you're don't, saying... Don't apologize to the harlot. <laughs> you're saying Murasaki's theory is correct? That's right. Rules come into effect whenever night falls. And I think Murasaki's exactly right about tonight's rules. I knew it. Furthermore, I think we're dealing with a specific kind of horror movie. A Hollywood B-movie. I'm... Sorry, could I just stop you there? I have some familiarity with horror movies, but I've never heard of Hollywood or B-movies before. What is this B-movie you speak of? You like jazz, Longling? Oh 
no, 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 I'm sorry. I should explain what I meant. Uh, all right, we should still have some time, so I'll try to elaborate. So, acquired the spirit origin, I'm Arasaki Shikibu, Nifujiwara no Naokarako, poured over every kind of story I could find. I don't just mean books, I also study all kinds of films and TV series. That's why I learned the staple genre of summer entertainment is... Horror movies. Yes, exactly! There is a great many genres to film, and even more tropes and patterns that tend to follow. And when I tr think back to the variation, various horror films I watched or studied in Caldea's library, it's clear to me that Lord Phantom is behaving just like a slasher in a B-movie. So you're saying he's acting according to those conventions? Yes, that's, exa that's exactly like, right, Lord Emiya. I know this may sound ridiculous, but I believe the rules I am about to tell you apply to a virtually all horror movies. The slasher will be invincible until the third act. The slasher will prefer, will prefer to act, attack young people, especially couples. The slasher will never kill children. The slasher is capable of all manner of impossible things. There are other rules besides those, and of course, there are many films which do not confer, confirm to such conform to such uh, rules. But broadly speaking, I think it's safe to say many beef horror movies have those four rules in common. That would explain how fandom could do so much strong, uh, stronger than could be so much stronger than most servants, let alone ordinary people. Yes, I think it would. As the real Lord Phantom is nowhere near so strong as we have seen, I expect this unusual strength is a result of, it, of his being, of his having become a horror movie slasher. The same is true for his abnormal, abnormally durability as well. To put it simply, that Lord Phantom is simply isn't capable of dying yet. I guess that's because there's no uh, movie if he if he died at the beginning. He may be a terrifying monster, but it's also a very sad way to live. I wish there was something we could do for him. But even though I'm, I'm Yabi, Yabukuni, I'm afraid I can't fight. Hey, don't worry about it. Every servant here knows their, their way around a battlefield. We'll find a way to resolve this as long as we keep looking. Heck, that's why we, we came here in the first place. So, Marasaki, do you think the store has any special significance? It's a bit hard to say, since there's so many expectation, expect, exceptions. One, but one rule does come to mind. The slasher needs some kind of opportunity in order to break through a constructed barrier. What kind of opportunity are we talking here? For example, one of the characters feels safe after putting up a barrier and gets too close to the door. Only for the slasher's arm to burst through it. That sort of thing. Aha. Uh -huh. Now I get it. That being said, we can't stay here forever. Eventually, the slasher will find another way inside. My guess is he'll wind up teleporting into the cottage, impossibly th impossible that it is. Yes, I would agree. The slasher will almost certainly m murder anyone who goes off on their own. There's nothing we can do to fight back. I've been sen sensing powerful charms or curses, if you will, all throughout the singularity. And they've only gotten stronger since night fell. Strong enough that I've been able to sense them a actually, even though I'm not a proper Oniyogi. I wonder. Maybe this curse is taking the concept of us be of our being servants and overriding it with the concept of movie characters? If it is, what do we do? Assuming my hypothesis is correct, which it probably is, we should be able to repel the enemy by strengthening our concept as servants. I can think of two ways we may be able to do that. One, we follow the movie's rules and reach to the end of the film. Two, we go against the movie's rules and cause the whole film to break down. Link tells me following the rule. Uh, actually something else. <laughs> That tells me following the rules would be a very, very bad idea here. Definitely. I might not know as much about them as Murasaki, but I've seen a few horror films myself. And usually by the time the credits roll, there are one, maybe two characters left alive, at most. On top of that, I don't think you'd be the one of the survivors, Master. In fact, if you follow the movie's rules, I think you'd probably be one of the first to die. Really? Yes, really, you kind of look, you, you're kind of, you're kind of pathetic in that way. I tell a person's destiny by reading these con conventions and auras, so to speak. You could say it's like being able to see the flow of fate itself, roll credits. Hang on, is it normal for the protagonist in a movie to still be alive at the end? Generally it is, but horror movies often subvert that particular convention. So... That's right. The protagonist is in even more danger in these situations. Uh, 
No wonder I never really liked horror movies. All right. I personally love horror movies. Then how exactly do we go about breaking down this movie we're in? There are two ways. One, we face the slasher directly and survive till morning. If we do that, we should be able to defeat him. Why is that? From what I can tell, this movie's killer is designed to only to only last a single night. Now I see. So it really is a traditional horror film, then. The killer's job is to show up at night and terrorize the hell out of the cast for a solid 90 minutes. So what's the second way? The second is to use Lady Ilya as a decoy. Huh? Wait, this is seriously? Aha! I see. So we'd be using the movie's rules against it. Why do I give me? I believe the very same rule that was, that our magnifying phantom strength also render him unable to kill children. That's why we, he never went after Lady Ilya during our battle. The only thing is, well, that would be a cruel and cowardly method, and I am afraid it is also one I cannot endorse. I don't see any reason not to use it. Ilya is a powerful servant. She's able to fight and withdraw when she has to, as any of us. That doesn't mean we can just use her as some sort of pawn. I agree. I don't. I know it was my suggestion, but I wouldn't feel right about using her as a decoy. Me neither. Wait, wait, wait! Hang on, hang on! Hold on a second. Ilya. L Lady Ilya. It's okay. I can do this. I can do this. I'm still Chovo's servant, after all. <laughs> yes, yeah, suppose you are. You may be a child, but you are servant first and foremost. It, it seems I was being overly protective of you. Forgive me, Lady Elias Vale. <sighs> I've never seen someone so handsome sparkle with pure virtue before. Well, Master, it's your call. We'll do whatever you think is best. Okay! Um, how do we want to handle this? Um, I have what the what options are here. Um, well, hang on, I, I'm reading over the differences here. Um, if we go with the top, uh, there's a hundred and one enemies. Uh. But at turn 8, all of them will have their HP run reduced, and both of the passive buffs on uh, our uh, slasher here get removed, which is a, a, a damage cut and a guts. He also has 3 million HP. Okay, what's but, the second option? But we get access to all of the NPCs. Okay, what's the second option? The second option is a 30-star bomb. Uh, Phantom will be debuffed with attack down and defense down. And you only have access to Ilya. So Ilya is the only character we can use in that fight? The only support. Asher, why not? Okay, I'll do my best. I'll be fine. I'm starting too, after all. Alright, let's do this. Go get him, Ilya. Okay, I'll give the signal, then open the door. From there, it'll be business as usual. You're still as bra- You're still as aboard, Ilya. You sure you'll be okay? You're not scared, are you? Are you? Are no, you? No, no, no. Uh, uh, shut up, Ruby! I don't believe you. It's not what you think. I'm scared of what might happen if I mess up and ruin everything. Ah, eh, don't worry. If something goes wrong, me, Prince of Lundling, and Murasaki are all here to back you up. And don't forget, we've got a master who's seen more action than an army of mages right behind us. Just fight like, like you always do, and you'll be fine. Uh, uh, oh, thank you, Emiya. I feel much better now. Yay. Yeah. Tick tock, tick tock. Let's go! Okay. So. Hello, Hazel. Hey, Hazel. Hello, Hazel. 
Yeah, you have access to everyone. It's just you don't get access to Emiya, Murasaki, and Long Link. Yeah, this is fine. Uh, I was going to see... Yeah. yeah, if you chose the first option, Phantom has 3,041,370 HP. Well, we only had to start for eight turns and we would have been fine. Yeah. Well, I mean, he still has the HP, it just he won't have the damage cut or the guts. Entirely fair, Hazel. Oh, he's got like only 70 million right now. Or 70k, you mean? He still has the guts, though. Which what guts? What guts? Yeah, pack damage down and defense down. But the max, though. I, I I hate to tell you this, Jim. There's only you only get one assassin piece this entire thing, no matter which option you pick. Eh. I see. Okay. So... Also, did you see what Seb said? Yeah, uh, I am currently updating it, and it's got a 26 gigabyte update. Oh, good luck. Yeah, yeah, it's is, gonna take are, around six the, hours. Uh, is this the uh, one with the uh, Kazu rerun and the uh, the new guy, the four star character? I, I think this is the Dendro update. So probably, yeah. Yeah, that sounds right. All right, we just gotta kill the rest of them. We're good to go. Considering that I've got a 26 gigabyte download, when the last time I played it was literally last week, I would assume yes, we are getting a massive update. Not oh, not, not, not the, the danger not... update yet. Oh boy. Base card. Maybe. Base card for the win. Base card go burr. Kazuya, Klee, and Heiza right now. Okay, so it is the new guy. It is the new guy. The new four star, I think, with Kazuya and, and Klee. That's really cool. I must say, what is actually yet seen right now? I would say, I think only one of those gym is interesting. <laughs> oh, I don't have enough storage space. Oh my god! The buff, the I think I understand why why I'm, why Moxie's obsessed with this. With Ilya, with this one. She just did the Totsugeki! Totsugeki! <laughs> How much space did I need for that again? Ugh. I'm really sorry, Pianto, but I hope this will snap you out of it! Yeah! Totsugeki! Thank you for writing that. <laughs> Do you have a look? It's morning. I'm so glad that's over with. A great hanging in there. I did my very best. <laughs> what? <laughs> I saw that. Brief second. Watch on the stream. What? And see it. It looks like Lord Phantom is okay too. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> yeah. What? Concert you assassin sneaks into frame and then sneaks out. <laughs> oh. It would seem our nightmarish night is at an end then. Oh, there's. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's her with a little hat thing. Yeah, I was about to say, she's got the little, like, ghost hat thing on that you see in anime. <laughs> it would be even better if the singularity had disappeared as well, but I guess that was too much to hope for. At least the most pressing crisis is over now, so we can at least celebrate that. Hooray! Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> the blink! The like, the, the, what am I looking at here? We're bring, bring, the, bring the thing down. <laughs> Spooky ghost! I, I really like the way that her hair is drawn, though. It's like the really rough sketch. Yeah. Spooky I, I, ghost! What, what is her hands doing? <laughs> She's doing like the... Ooh. 
Anyway. I am a ghost. Hey, Kawhi, I'm not sh quite sure how to tell you this, but uh, I died. Thank you for 20 bits, Hazel. Thank you, Hazel. Um, what? Uh, I'm I'm sorry. What? Huh? Uh, uh, three, two, one. Say what? Say what? <laughs> I died. Well, that's uh, huh? And Yoshi fucking did. <laughs> well, that's uh. One way to end the stream. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna go ahead and call it a night. I'm gonna go. How long time have we been going? Probably longer than us, unlikely. Oh, he's hosting Shark right now. <laughs> God dang it! When in uh, doubt, we could go. We can also host Shark. Eh. Host slash breed. Let's go say hi to. Actually, we brought him up earlier. We did. We did. We were doing his ritual earlier. So let's go say to Kita Sean. Kita Sean. Kita Sean. Kita Sean. All right. Well, thank you all for joining us for tonight. I will see you guys Thursday for more Three Hope Shenanigans and Saturday for more uh, Summer Shenanigans. Peace out, everybody, and go say to Kita Sean for me. Good night, good night, everyone. I'm dead. <laughs> Aren't we all dead inside? Yeah. Ooh.